Hey yo, what is going on guys? Let me know if you can hear me okay. Um yeah, hope you guys are all doing good tonight. Um, excuse me, because I actually have DOA4 in my ear right now, so um, I'm actually just gonna stick this on for the time being. So that way you guys can have something to listen to. Okay, so you guys shouldn't be able to hear my Xbox 360 right now. Uh you shouldn't. As a matter of fact, no, you actually can, so. We're actually going to cut the music because you guys can hear my Xbox 360. So, um, hope you guys are all doing good tonight. Welcome to uh, the Throwdown Dead or Alive 4 edition. I have not done a tournament in a long time. It's been a long time since we've done a tournament on this channel. Um, so, with that said, things I expect things to run a little rough. I don't expect things to run perfectly. Um, let me know how the level sound. Let me know how all the audio sounds and everything on this channel. So with that said, things I expect things to run a little rough. I don't expect things to run perfectly. Um, let me know how the level sound. Let me know how all the audio sounds and everything on this channel. Um, so with that said, okay. things I expect so as of right now, we don't have any game sounds, so we're going to try to work through this as we do this. Um, once again, welcome to the Throwdown. So I'm going to be commentating this event myself while I'm also running it, which is why I had to back out of playing in it. So uh, with that said, again, I want to welcome all you guys to the tournament. And I do not expect, so we got 20 entrants for a DOA 4 tournament, which is pretty substantial. I don't expect all 20 entrants to be here. I expect about 10 to be here. We're going to see if we can get a couple more than that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the bracket and show you guys what we're working with right now. And that is not the bracket. <laughs> Alright, so, first up we have Leon Ramsey versus Lips Like Sugar. I know I've seen Leon Ramsey in the chat. However, I don't think I saw Lips Like Sugar in the chat. So hopefully that person, uh, that player is around. So the way we're going to do this is I want to do um, all four of the first round matches on stream. Um, and then we're going to do some of the second round matches on stream. So you guys know that this is double elimination. So I'm going to be picking and choosing the matches that I want to play on stream just because of time restrictions. Even though it's probably only going to be like a 12-man tournament, when there's winners and losers brackets, the tournament can still run a long time. Especially because we're going to be playing on the Xbox 360. It's an old system. This shit is really slow. And it's not as convenient as the newer consoles is. So with that said, I hope you guys are ready for us to run into some slight bumps along the way, but we're gonna try to get the shit to run as smoothly as we can. Another thing that I wanna go over with you guys, um, by the way, if my stream cuts for any reason, I apologize, I will do my best to get it uh, back up and running as soon as possible. Lately, I've been having a lot of issues with Streamlabs OBS and I do not know why, but hopefully we don't have an issue with that. Um, but once again, uh, this is going to be a crowdfunding event, so if you guys want to support the event, if you guys want to support my channel, make sure you guys hit that uh, exclamation point donate button, and that allows you to either pick and choose whether you want to donate to my stream or whether you guys want to donate to the event. Just make sure you specify that in the comment section. But either way, I would definitely appreciate it if you guys would donate to the pot more so than my stream tonight, because again, this is about the community. Uh, last time we did a community-based event, we actually raised over $200. So if you guys do want to donate anything to the pot, please be sure to do so. It definitely supports the players and gives them encouragement to come out and play in these online events more often. And it gives them something to look forward to. So, um, with that said, man, we're not going to waste too much time. We're going to try to jump into this shit as soon as possible. So, um, let me go ahead and start setting up this lobby. Again, I'm not sure if we're going to have sound for the Xbox 360, so it might be something that I have to troubleshoot. But hopefully it's something that we don't run into an issue with where we don't have sound. I would hate that. So... Um, the first match that we have is Leon Ramsey versus Lips Like Sugar. So, let's see if we can get these players in the lobby. Uh, Lips Like Sugar is actually online. I don't know if that person knows that they have to play. I can't send them an invite, so I'll send them a message and let them know. Um, Torney. Now. Okay, so Lips Like Sugar is up first. A um, little bit about Lips Like Sugar. Lips Like Sugar is actually a DOA4 veteran. This player has been around for a long time in the DOA4 community, so hopefully they can make it to the event. Um, and they're going to be going up against Leon Ramsey. So let's go ahead and see if we can get Leon Ramsey in the chat in the game here. And um, again, we're running on the Xbox 360 here. So I'm going to assume that this guy's name is... I hope I hope that you guys signed up with your actual names. Uh, Leon Ramsey, if you guys are in the chat, please be sure to let me know how you guys' spelling of your names are because there is no underscore in here. So I'm just going to type this in how it looks. And again, I wanted everybody to add me on Xbox 360. So hopefully this is Leon Ramsey's username. So we're going to go ahead and try to get these players in the lobby really quick. All 
I'm online, but the 4 isn't letting me put it online, so I'm going to sign in my voice profile. Okay, so let me go ahead and invite you. So, so that there's no confusion, Leon Ramsey is going to be using a profile, Wayne Sude. So that's who we're going to be inviting to the lobby for Looks Like Sugar to play. Take me out, please. Something personal has come up. Okay, so just like that, let's go ahead and look at the bracket here. Uh, Leon Ramsey, don't worry about playing because your opponent is not going to make it. So... Uh, it's been a while since we've we've had a tournament here. How do we officially start this shit? Because Leon, how do, do I click the search button or something? It's been a while since I've done this. I forget how this works. Maybe somebody can fucking help me out here. Uh, Leon Ramsey, how do I get you to advance to the next round here? Because your player backed out, so it looks like Sugar is eliminated from the tournament. Oh, uh, man. Uh, let's see here. How do I start the tournament? How do we start this shit? Uh, the registration should have ended. So I think, I don't know if it's... Can you invite me to the lobby? Yeah, I got you, man. As soon as your turn is up, just give me a little while. Let me just work out the rest of these kinks here. We kind of just winged this and started it. So I'm trying to figure out... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how... I can move on in the bracket here. The bracket is a preview so the season to start. Okay, so how do we start this motherfucker? That's the question. Check. I never uh, check in results. Uh, results. Uh, goodness gracious. Go to registration, maybe? Nope, that's not it. So it says checking in, I don't know. I probably should have figured this shit out beforehand. To your left? Where, where at? Check in. Oh, here it is, start the tournament, there we go. Okay, 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 here we go. No, no, no! What the fuck happened? No! Oh, we're fucked. Yeah, we fucked up, guys. Yeah, we fucked up. I don't think I can, uh... I don't think I can undo this. I think we just fucked the whole tournament up. Yeah, we just fucked up the whole tournament, guys. The whole tournament is fucking ruined. Jesus Christ. We literally just lost all of our players. People didn't check in. I, bro, I tried to use Smash GG. I don't know how to set it up. And now we just lost everybody in the fucking tournament. It says tw tw check-in close. How, can I reopen the check-in? There's no way I can't reopen the check-in. Hold on. There's got to be a way to do this shit. I don't think there is, actually. I think we're fucked up. Yeah, I think we're fucked up, guys. Oh, God. This really sucks, man. Yeah, I think we're fucked. Go to participants. How can I like bring them back? Oh, oh, I can reactivate them. Okay, 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 hold on. We coming. I got this shit. We're working it out, guys. Hold on. Alright. So we reactivate everybody, so hold on. So, hold on. We reactivated everybody. So, wait. What did that do? Oh, God. I think we're fucked up. I think we're fucked up, guys. Okay, wait. Reset the bracket. Okay, 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 we're good. So, is this what I had it set as? No, I didn't. Um, hold on a second. You guys can see this part. Bro, I don't. I can't have them check in. Not everybody's going to check in, so people are going to get fucked over here. Hold on, guys. Give me a second, because i got to rearrange the brackets, because they're not set up correctly anymore. The fucking brackets are all messed up now. I think they're actually back to how they were now that I moved those two people around. So, I think we're actually good now. Okay. Um, all right. 
Yeah, I mean, dude, I don't... Yo, everybody go check into the tournament now. So this is your, your time to check in, I guess. I mean, unless I want to make it so that I don't have you guys check in. It's probably a... Yeah, I don't remember making it so that they had to check in because I just don't think that... I didn't think that was a good idea. Unless it's in settings somewhere. Nah, I think it's too late. I could have sworn it was on this screen somewhere. Registration, grand finals, game. Yeah, I don't think, I think it's too late to change that. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I think we're just going to have to do it manually. So, I mean, I guess we can start it from here. Once you're, uh, so can I start it? Okay, so the tournament has started, so we're good. So everybody that's here is ready to play. So, now that we have that out the way, the first match, all right, so we good, we good. No, you guys are good. We, we can do it manually. If you don't show up, you don't show up. Apologize about the delay, guys. You know, tournaments are usually rough to get started off. So the first match, um, how do, so I'm going to report Lips Like Sugar because she's out anyways. So uh, da, 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 da. Lips Like Sugar is going to be taking an L. Lips Like Sugar is out of the tournament, so we don't have to worry about her. Um, a Zoe Master and MCD, you guys are going to be the first match up. Thank you guys for all the help, by the way. I mean, you guys are the shit. Hey, yo, Raining Tiki, thank you for donating $10 to the pot. We got $10 a part of the Throwdown pot for tonight. So thank you guys for supporting the stream. Um, let's go ahead and switch up to the fight screen real quick so we can get the name set up. And from what I understand, sorry about the names already preemptively being there. It kind of just happened like that from the last event we had. But let's go ahead and get um, MCD0. I think so. Mr. Cool Dude is actually in this tournament. And I had no clue that he was in the tournament. So I think it's actually spelled like this. So MCD0. So this is obviously going to be a first to two format, obviously. Um, and the, the rules are already set to what they should be. So MCD0 against Azori Master. I think I remember seeing this name, Azori Master. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I hope you guys do continue to support the events as well. Now I just hope that we have fucking sound for when the actual event starts. Make sure you guys add me on Xbox 360. If you're in this tournament, add Emery Rain so I know that you guys are playing. So let's go ahead and get... Oh, yeah, I've definitely seen this name before. Zoe Master. Yeah, I've seen this guy back in DOA 4. All right. So just so you guys know, you have to make sure that you let me go back to the lobby because you can't spectate in this game without actually going back to the lobby. So in order for me to spectate, you guys are actually going to have to let me um, let me go back before you start the next round. So we're going to have a Zoe Master ready up first. So that way we can get him on the left side there. And we got right name, MCD over here. Yo, what up, Kix LaFlair? All right, so make sure you guys, again, make sure you guys do this correctly. Do you guys have game sound or no? Please let me know if you have game sound. Yeah, the, the settings were changed to to uh to, to regular. From what um from what I was told, the settings are supposed to be normal life. They switched it from largest to normal from what I understand. The game sound works? Okay, we're good then. We're good. Yes, if you guys can hear the game sound, that's perfect. You guys can start whenever you're ready, Mr. Cool Dude. Ready up, brother. Mr. Cool Dude, if you don't fucking ready up. How do you stomp again? Mr. Cool Dude, ready up. Is life bar medium? It's supposed to be medium, yes. Yo, can somebody message this man and tell him to ready up? 
Oh my, get your bony ass over here and ready up. Yeah, normal is medium. Largest is largest. Bro, ready up. Yeah, leave it, leave it to medium, uh, Azori Master. It's supposed to be medium. It's supposed to be uh, normal. Normal life bar was the settings at the end. Yo, can somebody tell Mr. Cool Dude to... Bro, I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. Mr. Cool... God. Bro, Mr. Cool Dude, what are you doing? How do you chat, man? Yo, throw some shurikens in this motherfucker, bro. What are you doing? Ready? Oh! Bro, he's literally not getting the hint. Like, he's not getting the hint. How do you type? I don't remember how to type. There it is. Oh my god. Mr. Cool Dude, ready up, you bony bastard. Damn. Bro, you are not getting the hint. Bro, is this man? There we go. Jesus. Alright. So we're going to be jumping into this. We got a Zoe Master versus Mr. Cool Dude. I've never seen Mr. Cool Dude play Dead or Alive 4. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah, I know. I got to make sure I back out before each match is over. This is old school here. So I'm pretty sure Zoe Master is going to be going with Hayabusa. Mr. Cool Dude is going to be going with Jan Lee. I'm not sure if you guys are from the United States or not. This template kind of came with those flags, so I can't really change them at the moment. So if you're not from the United States, you're going to have to be for this tournament. I apologize. This is a first to two. So, what stage are we going to get? If it's Experimental Playground, you guys are going to have to back out. Alright, so we're going to be going to the ring stage here. Hayabusa is a dangerous character in this game. And we're going to see how Zoe Master... Yeah, I think he's from the UK as well. But he's going to be from the US today. Alright, so there's a punch punch down back kick. One of the cheapest strings in the game, if I may add so myself. That's unsafe. No punish by Mr. Cool Dude. And Mr. Cool Dude's confused! No break hold from Mr. Cool Dude to close the round out right there. This is the up back kick by Zoe Master. Alright, nice forward kick launch there. That combo does not connect in this game. And, that, and pretty much right now, it looks like Mr. Cool Dude is a noob to DOA forward. It just looks like he's not familiar. Nice throw punish there by Zoe Master. Oh my god, the beautiful high counter hold. Oh my god, that was so slow in this game. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Alright, so Mr. Cool Dude gets around on the board so all is not completely lost yet looks like he's starting to adapt to the game a little bit all right so there's no punish on the handstand looking like mr kudu's got a little bit of doa four jitters here nice okay oh my did you guys see the damage oh my god that damage bro All right, there's the down back punch by Zoe Master to close the round out. One more round, and he's going to go up one to nothing against Mr. Cool Dude in the first match of the throwdown. And there's the Azuna drop. He's going to finish it. That's going to do about 35% on high counter. And right now, it just looks like Mr. Cool Dude is not really truly adapted. I mean, you know, you got to kind of give Mr. Cool Dude the benefit of the doubt. You know, Zoe Master is kind of molded in DOA 4, and just like that, he takes the first game pretty damn convincingly, one to nothing in the set against Mr. Cool Dude. Let me back out. God damn it. Well, so this is something that you guys are going to have to expect. You can't spectate in this game, so make sure you guys let me back out after each game, okay? So in the meantime, while we're waiting for him to beat my ass here, I'm going to go ahead and switch up to the no uh, donation screen. Make sure you guys remember to donate to the throwdown. All the proceeds go towards uh, the tournament players that are playing tonight. You guys can always exceed that $100 uh, limit right there. But in case you guys do want to donate, um, beat my ass, Azoi Master. In case you guys do want to donate to the pot, just go ahead and type exclamation point donate and it'll leave you to the link there. And uh, yeah, man, everything everything that comes to this event through the donations goes to the players.
I don't have Macharino because you actually have to sign up for that shit, and I did not have time for it. So hopefully by the next time we do the throwdown um, in two weeks, we have the Macharino set up. But as of right now, I actually have to wait to apply for it. So. So we're currently waiting for Azori Master to beat my ass right now um, because you guys got to make sure you let me back out in between each round. So, unfortunately, back in DOA 4, you actually could not just legitimately spectate unless you sat in the lobby. So, unfortunately, I just lost 150 points. That's all good, though. We good. We good. All right. So, Zoe Master is up one to nothing in the set. Let's see if Mr. Cool, you can do something to adapt here. If you guys think Mr. Cool Dude is going to adapt in the set, put a 2 in the chat. If you guys think my boy Zoe Master is going to put Mr. Cool Dude to sleep, put a 1 in the chat for my boy. And I wonder where things we're going to get. Again, guys, Experimental Playground is banned. If we get Experimental Playground, we are going back to the lobby 100%. We are not playing more Experimental. And just like that, this stage is banned. You guys got to go back. We cannot play on this stage. Don't start fighting. Unless y'all want to. Look, if y'all want to fight on Spearman, Oh, the Force Tech. If you guys want to fight on Spearman to Playground, you guys can be more than welcome to do so. But if it's split, that's on y'all. The stage is supposed to be banned. Alright, so it looks like they're fighting on it. It looks like we're fighting on Spearman to Playground. So if they want to go at it, they can. I mean, that's it's their funeral. If the game splits, that's on them. Oh my god, how did that Dragon Kick hit him in the head like that? Yo, shout out to Banjo Fighter for putting $3 in the uh, donation bin there. We got 13 bucks for the Throwdown Dead or Alive 4 edition. So shout out to all you guys in the community. Why is this map not banned? It is supposed to be banned, but they didn't back out, so they're playing on it. I can't really control what they're going to do. You can't filter the stage out, so you unfortunately have to actually go back, and they didn't go back. So, But they want to fight on it, so it is what it is. And it looks like it's running smooth to me, so Azoi Master is fucking Mr. Cool Dude up right now. I don't know. It's crazy because, like, a lot of people don't realize um, that that DOA 4 is such a different game. You can literally look like you have no idea how to play DOA if you've never touched this game. Like, it'll really make you look like you've never played the game before. Yeah, Black Bear, some of the matches are going to be off stream, but we're going to do the first wave of matches on stream. So after the first wave of matches, I'm going to start having you guys play off stream so we can move quicker. Get ready. So the first set of losers matches is going to be all clean. And man, Azoi Master looks really, really acquainted with this game. Shout out to Perfect Dark for putting ten dollars in the, uh, the the donation pot there for the uh, for the throwdown. Man, shout out to my boy Perfect uh, Perfect Dark, always supporting the throwdown and all the other events that the DLA community puts on. And Azoi Master looking like he's ready to close this out. There's the Force Tech. Nice. Oh my God! No fucking way. No fucking way that just happened, bro. No, they want to play on the stage, guys. So if this is going to count. If they want to play on the stage, they want to play on it. It's up to the players. Because you can't random it out. So and I don't want to be here all night anyway. So. All right. Nice up forward kick there. Beautiful forward kick, back forward kick there. And Mr. Cool Dude looked like he's finally warming up, getting the low kick hold there. Nice backs away. That's Is that a save in this game? I don't even know. All right, so both players spacing right now. Nice forward grab to close the round out. And just like that, Azoi Master eliminates, or not eliminates, but sends Mr. Cool Dude down to the loser's bracket. So if you guys can do me a favor and go back to the lobby, let me go ahead and do that before I get stuck in this bitch. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening. Okay, so just like that, Mr. Cool Dude is going to be suffering an L to Azoi Master there. So let's go ahead and report the scores to the zip. All right, so Mr. Cool Dude, of course, is going to be going down to the loser's bracket, and he's going to be waiting to play his match. So, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait. Yeah, it's first to two for right now. So, the next match is going to be x Baco versus George BG. I don't know what the hell his name is supposed to be. So, make sure you guys remember uh, to back out to the lobby when... Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Make sure you guys remember to leave the lobby because there's only three slots, so there's not enough room for people to spectate. Plus, it's going to make it laggier. So, let's go ahead and get the next players in here. Um, I don't even know if x Baco was even on because he's not online right now. So I'm going to go ahead and s assume that he's not online. Yeah, this guy's not even online. So, I mean, it's not looking like he's going to be playing in the tournament today. 
Yeah, X Backer's not even online, so I'm not sure if he forgot the tournament was tonight. But um, he's not online, so it looks like we might actually have to uh, remove him from the tournament. At least put him in the loser bracket for now. Because I don't want this to go all night, like I said. And I don't want to make you guys wait all night all, uh, either. So, in the meantime, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, hold on a second. I'm going to show the bracket live, get lucky. Because I actually didn't make the command for the bracket. Because I actually was running behind in time. So, give me a second. Let me, uh, let me make the command for the bracket so you guys can keep up with it for, uh, for your own reference here. Hold on. Commands... New command. I got you guys right now. Bracket. And then if you guys want to look at the bracket, it's, it's now live. So you guys can go ahead and do that. So the next match we're going to have on stream. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send George. Well, I don't even know if George is here either, but x is not here at all. So we'll just go ahead and put uh, send him down to the loser's bracket for now because I don't see him there. All right, uh, t t let's see what else we got here. Um, so, Beely versus Howling Cannon. I don't know if you guys are here. Uh, Beely versus Howling Cannon. If you guys are here, make sure you guys acknowledge in the chat. I'll go ahead and get Beely in the chat in the game really because I know he's online already. All right, Beely is here. Okay, awesome. So, we got Beely here. And now we have uh, Howling Cannon. So, let's go ahead and see if we can find Howling Cannon. Howling Cannon 7. On Howling Cannon 7. So let's go ahead and see if this guy is on DOA. Um, doesn't look like this. This man was playing Hitman Absolution. So I don't know. He hasn't even played DOA 4. So I don't. I don't know if this guy is, is, is on. I, like, you guys got it. Like, the only thing about that sucks about running online tournaments, and I'm going to say this every single time, is that it's so hard, especially going back on the 360 to try to keep up with people. So I think my boy Howling Cannon is going to have to take this L here, guys, because he just nowhere to be found. I can try to look up Howling Cannon just by his name, but I don't know if he's even here. So let's try, let's try uh, what it's, how it's actually spelled. So this is his exact name, Howlin' Cannon 7. So let's see if he's here. Nah, that's who it sends me to. Whenever I add Howlin' Cannon, it gives me this username right here. So I'm going to assume that uh, Howlin' Cannon doesn't exist here. Yeah, so that player doesn't exist, I guess. So let's go ahead and move on through the brackets, man. We got to keep this show moving so we're not sitting here all night fucking around. So, Beely, congratulations. You're going to be moving on in the bracket, my man. This is not my fault, guys. I wanted everybody to have a chance to play, but y'all fucking up. What can I say? All right. So that's going to do it for the first round of matches. So um, it looks like... Uh, da, 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 da. What are we missing here? What are we missing here? Okay. So everybody that's sitting in this side, you're going to have to wait for the next round of matches. So let's go ahead and get, we're going to have Blackberry versus Go Carlo on stream. Off stream, let's do a Zoe Master and Sir Wiles. Now, how we're going to do this, if you are waiting for your opponent and you're not playing on stream, if they don't respond to your invite within like five minutes, let me know and I will DQ them. Okay. So go ahead and back out. Um, Beely and um, Azori Master so I can get the next players in here, please. So Blackberry and Go Carlo, let's get you guys in here. I can't boot either, right? Like, I can't kick, kick people out. I don't think I can. Yo, Azori Master, do me a favor and back out, bro. Hey, yo, thanks for the raid, um, Blank October. Okay. So if you guys are not playing, again, make sure you guys back out of the lobby, please, so that way we can get this going. Also, um, Blackberry and Go Carlo are going to be on stream. We're going to do Peachin and Hamo Kinesis on stream. So make sure you guys are paying attention to the bracket, all right? 
Make sure you guys pay attention to the bracket. We're going to be doing Blackberry and Carlo on stream. We're going to be doing Peachin and hey, uh, hey Mo Kinesis on stream. And we're going to be doing... Uh, that's going to be it. So everybody else, you guys can play your matches. All right. So we're going to be doing these two right here on stream. Everybody else that's in this section, if you see your name, you can play your matches so we can keep this going. All right. So other than the people I mentioned, uh, you guys are going to play your matches. So everybody else, get your matches up. All right. Blackberry. Where's Blackberry at? All right. Uh, let's see. And then we have Go Carlo. Okay, cool. Hey, yo, uh, shout outs to all you guys for filling up the pot here. Shout outs to UGS, um, aka Sly, I'm um, not Sly Bass, uh, Gil Hustle for donating $20 to the pot. Longtime DOA uh, community uh, member right there and longtime DOA competitive player as well. Shout outs to him. Make sure you guys give him a follow too because I know he helps out with Hood Weeklies as well sometimes. So let's go ahead and get everybody in. Yes, the life bar is normal. All right, Blackberry's in here, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Blackberry's avatar. He's using the PP. I can't believe you bought the PP out of all the avatars. So we're going to have Blackberry ready up first. So Blackberry, make sure you're ready up first. So that way we can not be confused here. And we have Go Carlo, right? Go Carlo. All right, also, uh, we're going to be having only one more match from that section. So I'm telling you guys, if you guys are not complete your matches, by the time this set is over or a couple seconds after, I'm going to be DQing everybody because we don't have time to sit here all night. All right, so we got to make sure we get this shit done. Again, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the bracket so nobody is confused about what's going on here. Go Carlo and Blackberry is up next on deck on stream. And then we're going to be having Peachin and Hey Heymo Kinesis on stream. Everybody else here, all of you guys need to be playing your matches right now. Everybody here needs to be playing their matches. As people are going to start getting DQ'd because if you guys don't play your matches, these guys have, down here have nobody to fight. So you guys are going to have to play your matches because they won't have anybody to fight. You understand? All right, Go Carlo, you can ready up when you're ready, brother. This is going to be a pretty good fight, I think. <laughs> no! There you go. Alright, you guys can start this shit. Let's get it. Alright, so going into this matchup, I have not seen Go Carlo play Dead or Alive 4. I have seen Blackberry play Dead or Alive 4, though. I've actually played him in Dead or Alive 4. And Blackberry is just a very talented Dead or Alive player in general. He's been playing for a long time. Got a lot of offline experience in him. He actually was around back in the DOA 4 era. I think like 2009 he went to his first DOA 4 tournament. So he's been around for a while. This guy's pretty seasoned at this point. Go Carlo. I'm not really sure how long he's been playing the game. I don't really know his entire background. But again, I've been friends with Blackberry so, uh, for a long time. So I do... Uh, know a lot about his past history in the DOA community, so we're gonna see how this goes. Blackberry going with Helena because he's about to be cheap as fuck. If you guys didn't know, so Helena is cheap as fuck in this game, so we're gonna go ahead and find out just how cheap Helena Get is. I right, so go Carlos starting off the round. Game looking a little choppy, but we're gonna see just how much it affects the match here. Both players space and go Carlo playing really, really cheap. Oh, he did not mean to talk. <laughs> Oh, this shit laggy as hell. But this is what happens when you play DOA 4 online. Ooh, back punch, punch. There, oh, ooh, ooh, uh, 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 uh. What's he gonna do? What's the mix up? So in this game, one thing you guys gotta be aware of is you could actually wake up kick off of the, oh, nice throw. You could actually wake up kick off of the wall in this game, unlike DOA 2 and 3. Which from an animation standpoint, really didn't make sense to me. Like how is your back up against the wall like that and you just wake up kick? Like how that make sense? Okay, there's the sweep by Blackberry. Uh, -huh. into the bulk hole throw. There's the cheapness. Guaranteed four stack every time. Ooh, try to grab it. Nice Azuna drop pull. He isn't gonna get anything off of that shit. That was. I can't stand how the Azuna drop used to act. 
That's actually safe from that range. Nice throw by Go Carlo there. Goes under the high wake-up kick. Okay. That's safe. What's Blackberry going to do? That's unsafe. No punish by Go Carlo, though. Oh, my God. It goes under the headbutt. And that's a dead character. Yep. Up forward kick, kick. Oh, he got a free cancel, probably. All right, so Blackberry going up already 2 to nothing in the first game here. Nice neutral throw there by uh, Go Carlo. No break on the throw there. And he jumps off the wall. Doesn't get anything from it, though. Beautiful forward grab there by Go Carlo. He's kind of standing on top of Blackberry at this point, not really getting his space, and it's definitely going to cost him. That's unsafe. Beautiful punish by Blackberry. Okay, nice hold there. Is he going to get a combo? He's not. And that's unsafe. No punish by Blackberry. He's going to get the punch, punch, down kick, punch. Into the wall splat. What's the mix up? Oh my god, in the head, but to close the round out by Go Carlo. Go Carlo trying to stay in here like, nah, bro, you ain't getting that, you ain't get me out of here that easy. Get the fuck out of here. All right, there's the force tech guaranteed if you don't tech in that situation. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, ooh. Nice hold. Oh man, Go Carlo trying to get something off of that hold, but he just can't capitalize. Look at the monkeys just chilling. That's unsafe. Oh my god, he breaks the grab? Yo, the monkeys are literally just chilling, bro. Like, they're just hanging out back there. Okay, nice run up and punch to close the round out there by Blackberry. Blackberry's gonna go up one to nothing in the set. And again, guys, it's his first to two while we're this early in the bracket. Let me back out. Let me back out. Let me back out. Let me back out. I can't back out unless you guys let me back out, so... Okay, there we go. All right, so while we're waiting for this next match to kick off, I do want to remind you guys we are here right now. The next match is Peachin versus Hey um, Hey Mo Kinesis. Okay, everybody else that are not those four players should be playing their matches. All of these guys should be playing their matches, and make sure you're reporting your score in the chat. Okay. How do I enter? Because I wasn't there for your match. Okay, you're not disqualified, but you did get sent down to losers bracket. So, with that said, uh, make sure you put your gamer tag in the chat because uh, you're going to be fighting the loser of one of these matches. So, unfortunately, I had to stick you down to loser bracket because you weren't there. But you're not out of the tournament. You did not get DQ'd. So, just make sure you get ready for your next match. Pay attention to the bracket. Um, you're going to go to challenge.com. I actually show you guys the website. It's challenge.com uh, slash DOA4 throwdown. So if you guys want to know where the bracket is, if you're not on Twitch, you're going to have to go to the website. And once again, I want to remind you guys, we're up to $43 in donations. So that's really, really great that you guys are throwing all that money at the pot. Pretty sick shit, man. Pretty sick shit. You won twice. All right, what's your gamer tag, guys? 2-0 versus... Okay, let's update the bracket. I appreciate you guys playing your matches. 2-0 in favor of a Zoe Master. All right, so what's your name? What's your gamer tag, Bryson? I don't know what your your, Bryce, your gamer tag is, bro. He's on my... Get ready, fight! <laughs> Rage Coon run both, okay. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Okay, you guys are reporting your own scores. That's awesome. Thank you. You guys can report your own scores as well. Okay, good job, Rage Coon. Alright, you moving on. Alright, so going back to the match here. Uh Blackberry Chaos sending him over the wall. He doesn't get to capitalize right away, but he still gets the attack and gets held afterwards. Wow, and he got killed by the fucking taxi. All right, Howling Cannon, I got you, bro. Just make sure you're paying attention to the bracket. Uh, right now, you're still waiting for your match, so you're going to have to just wait for your match. But I have your gamer tag now, so don't go anywhere. Stick around, and I'll make sure I let you know when your next match is. Oh, he finally gets a connection there with the 4-4 four -four punch, though. Okay, there's the down back kick. Nice down back kick, and go Carlo sticking in this thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, he went for the quick one that time. Oh, nice. Goes under the ace plus K there with a the crush. Beautiful by Blackberry Chaos with the wall splat. Go Carlo in trouble right now. Down to 10%, and that grab is going to close the round out. Blackberry Chaos is one round away from sending Go Carlo to the loser's bracket here. 
All right, there's the lift stun. Is he gonna go for the combo? He's not into the force tech, 30%. And there is the forward kick out of Boko to close the round out. And just like that, Blackberry Chaos is gonna be moving on in the bracket. Again, if you guys are playing your matches, do not hesitate to report your matches yourself. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check out the bracket and see where we're updated. Uh, Blackberry is gonna be moving on, but that was a really good set. Um, I'm pretty surprised at how well Gorkarlar played. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get him to the next round. Uh, but he is gonna be going down to the lose bracket. He's not out of the tournament, so... Go Carlo and Lips Like Sugar. Lips Like Sugar is out of the tournament. So Go Carlo, you're going to be moving on. All right. So Go Carlo is going to be moving on. Lips Like Sugar is eliminated from the tournament. So Sir Wiles and Go Carlo, you guys can play off stream right now. Uh, Peachin versus Hey, uh, hey Mo Kinesis. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this shit in. Yeah, Helena's low sweep did a lot of damage. Okay, so Peachin's got to get up in here and Hey Mo Kinesis. So if you're if you're ready, bro, just make sure you add me as a friend. Uh, wants to be your friend, Leon Ramsey. Okay, this is making it easier for me to get everybody on here. All right, wait, why you get offline? Make sure you guys follow the stream if you have not done so. If you guys are enjoying the DOA game, uh, gameplay, make sure you guys are subscribing to the stream, following the stream, and check me out on social media as well. And uh, definitely do not hesitate to donate to the pot, guys. Everything that you guys donate tonight is going towards the pot for these players that went out of their way to get Xbox 360s, to go out of their way to get DOA 4, and hook this shit up and actually play in this tournament. So make sure you guys are throwing some money at these guys for sure. Azoi Master, you're doing pretty good though, man. You're looking pretty solid, bro. You might win this shit. I don't know. You're looking pretty good. You won? Okay, I got you. Um, Get lucky. I got you. Uh, if you want to report it, just click on the bracket link and you can report it yourself. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the fight screen here. I can't find Shallow Silver. Shallow Silver has a different name, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what Shallow Silver's name is, but it's not Shallow Silver. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have um, Hey Mo Kinesis. You can level up first. Uh, ready up first. There you go. All right, damn, we got some motherfuckers to start quick. Okay, shit. Motherfuckers are going quick as a motherfucker. All right, left name... All right, your name is long as a motherfucker, bro. Hopefully, I ain't fucking name because that's a long motherfucking name. God damn. So I just want to let you guys know, Peachin is pretty fucking good. So I just want you guys to be aware, Peachin is pretty good, and this motherfucker is a D like he's a pretty good DOA four player. So make sure you guys are watching your back, man. I, I can honestly say this. And I know a lot of you guys in the chat can attest to this. Uh, Kicks LaFlair, a lot of you guys that were around back in DOA 4. The level of play in DOA 4 was much higher than the level of play in any other DOA game. And I stand by that. Like, a lot of DOA 4 players were really fucking talented. Like, super talented. Alright, so starting out the game here, we're going to be going with Christy against Lei Feng. And there's an accidental jump. This shit laggy as hell. I get lucky. I'm gonna make sure I get your match reported, bro. You won two to nothing. All right, perfect. So Wednesday, you're gonna be going down in losers bracket, and you're going to be facing it, Mr. Cool Dude on Wednesday. Make sure you guys fight MCB Zero and Wednesday. You guys make sure you get your match on. I right, looking back at the match here. This shit laggy as hell. I don't know who Shallow Silver is. I don't think Shallow Silver is here, Dio Scott. So if he doesn't answer you, by the time this match is over, we're going to go ahead and send him the loser bracket. Well, escape, we can't... The stage can't be taken out of random filter, and these guys want to play on it, so it is what it is. Like, they should go back to the lobby, but they're not. If they want to play on a, if they want to play on this map, they're going to play on it. I can't control that. And they're going to continue to fight, so I'm going to assume they want to play on it. Unless somebody types in the chat right now to stop this shit, we're going to keep playing on it, and they're fighting on it, so... It is banned. Oh, he misses the punish, and that's going to cost him. Alright, there's the punish. A little bit late there by Hamo, but he still got it off. Like, guys, we don't have time 
this is, we're running a whole tournament. We don't have time to sit here and keep going back and forth with the stages and trying to figure out where people are. Like, we got to keep this shit moving. Which is why I don't run tournaments a lot. I usually just like to do my first of tens and first of fives because we know where everybody is. You know what I mean? It's really hard to keep up, especially on DOA 4 and 360. It's really hard to keep up with all that, you know? So if you're not here, I'm just going to have to send you the loser bracket or DQ. So it is what it is, man. I mean, this is really just for fun. Even though there is money on the line at this point, it's still for fun. It's DOA 4 and 360, bro, you know? Alright, unsafe, no punish there by Hamo. And his uh, piece is going to get swept. There is no follow-up to that string in this game, but nice force tag. Free cancel city right now, but Peachin going in with some free cancels of his own. There's the stun. Alright, that's safe. Oh no, that was unsafe. That was safe in this game, yeah. Okay, down ace plus K for a punch into the up kick, and that's going to close the round out. Hamo hey, Kanisa is looking like he's trying to send Peach into the loser's bracket already. Alright, so nice low hold there by Peachin. Tries to hit a button too early on the shoulder, and he's going to get the low throw there. Uh, get lucky, none of the stages are banned because everybody's playing one. <laughs> This stage should be banned, but they're playing on it. So what are you going to do about it? I'm not going to stop the fight if they won't. So this is going to count. They played the whole fucking game. It is what it is. What are you going to do about it? Guys, if you get Experimental Playground and you don't want to play on it, just go back to the lobby. It's that simple. But you're fighting on it, so I'm going to count the scores. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go yes, thank you. Thank you. You guys know what it is already. Oh, I got to back up before the matches and I get it. Okay. 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 I'm trying to make sure Peach and won that last game, right, guys? I'm trying to make sure. And also... Make sure you guys remember that you can donate to the pot of these players if you want to support them. Make sure you guys hit exc uh, exclamation point donation or donate and you guys can support the stream. And again, make sure you guys are playing your matches. Milo and George, whatever your name is, you guys are supposed to be playing right now. So if I don't have any responses in the chat by the time this game is over, we're going to start sending people to lose the bracket. So there's nothing I can do about that. You guys got to make sure you're getting your shit done. Uh, so the names are going to be switched right now, but we're just going to act like they're not because they readied up the wrong way. So it is what it is. But we know who's who, so it's fine. Oh my goodness, this shit is Get ready. All right, Peachin, we got Helena on the screen. Let's see if Hamo knows how to use Helena in this game. All right, down back punch. Nice block there. No punish on the down back punch punch, though. Okay, nice low sweep. Gets the frame advantage. Is he going to go for the fake force tech? Oh, he's not. I don't know what kind of combo he's trying to do right there. Okay, there's the kick kick. All right. Is he going to go for a force tech? He's not. Okay, gets the frame advantage. Into the grab. Where's the setup? Okay, nice parry. I don't think that was guaranteed, but it worked. Nice punish there by Hamo. Hamo already looking a lot more custom to using Helena. He looks way more comfortable to using Helena than he did with Lefe. Or uh, Christy. Oh, he tried to go for the force. Like he was too late. Unsafe. And he's missing that punish by one or two frames, it looks like. And this shit laggy as hell. And you know what's crazy? Is that this tournament literally looks just like... Um, this tournament literally looks just... Okay, there it is. Yo, Black Dynamite, you're not DQ'd, man. Uh, Black Dynamite, you're supposed to be fighting... Um, Black Dynamite, you're supposed to be fighting somebody. Put your gamer tag in the chat so people know who you are. Uh, Shallow Silver, you're supposed to be fighting um, D.O. Scott. Make sure you guys get your match in right now. All right, nice block and punish there. Halo looking pretty good this game. There's the low sweep frame advantage. Oh, and he hits a button. He gets bounced, but no combo from Peach in there. K 
Alright, so Halo looking good, man. His Helena's looking pretty solid. I think that um I think that he's definitely more comfortable with using Helena. And now I fucked up because I didn't back out again. Guys, we're playing DOA 4. What do you expect? What do you expect? We're playing DOA 4. It's not going to run perfectly, all right? It's not going to run perfectly. It's DOA 4. You know there's going to be lag. You know the servers are going to be fucked. You know that. What do you guys want us to do? There's nothing we can do about that. It's lag. You guys knew this shit was going to be laggy when you, signed, when you signed up for it. It's, it's just for fun. Blackberry, I have to run the entire tournament. How am I going to remember to back out? I'm doing all this shit by myself. I'm commentating. I'm checking on players in the chat. How am I going to do this shit by myself? Get ready. Alright, so going back into this, we have a tie one to one here in the set. Let's see who's going to take this and send the other player a loser's bracket. Again, I want to keep showing a bracket so you guys are updated and knowing what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? All of you guys can play your matches. The next round of matches that are going to be on stream are going to be round three. So everyone in loser's bracket, you guys can continue to keep playing your matches. Mr. Cool Dude and Wednesday, I don't know where you guys are, but you guys are supposed to be playing your matches right now. So everybody in loser bracket, you guys should be getting these matches done. Oh, wait a minute. Hamo picked Lisa. You can't pick Lisa. You were on character lock, Hamo. Yeah, Hamo, you gotta stay on the same character, bro. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Peach and then you switch characters, bro. Damn, you can't do that, bro. You know you can't do that shit. You know you can't do that. You know you cannot do that shit. All right, well, Peach is gonna be moving on. Yeah, it's character lock, man. Nah, the character the character lock rule, you guys know. You guys know that that's, that's mandatory in tournaments. I shouldn't have to make that a rule. Like, you know character lock is a thing. Like, you guys should know that. It's a tournament. If I have to put that there's character lock, like, come on, man. We're playing in a tournament. What tournament are you going to be able to switch your character in the fighting game? That's, that's obvious, bro. Yeah, character lock is standard. I shouldn't have to make that a rule. That's like putting that you gotta hold the controller. Like, I mean, it's that's it's a fighting game. When the fuck are you switching a character in a tournament if you win? Like, <laughs> that shit don't exist. Unless you reset the bracket or something, but you guys should know all that. Get ready, fight. He's never been in a tournament? Okay, well. And that's unfortunate too, because Hamo probably would have won this shit. Gio Carlo one two to one. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that's what the score is, Sir Wiles. You're saying that he beat you two to one? Okay, Gar Carlo wins. Okay, yo, Sir Wiles, man, thank you for playing, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks for coming through. All right, so unfortunately, um, Hamo won the game, but he's he picked he he switched his character. All right, go back to the lobby, guys, so we can move on to the next game. So, Hamo is going to be going down to loser's bracket. Just go back to the lobby. Just just hit the lobby, please. Please don't start the game. Please don't start the game. Please don't start the game. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, guys. All right, so you're not out of the tournament, Hamo, but because you switched your character, unfortunately, I had to DQ you from that match. So Peach is going to be moving on in the set. Two to one. And you're not out, though, uh, Hamo, so you can always come back, bro. So Hamo, uh, I'm going to show you guys the bracket again. Hamo should be fighting Howling Canning. So you guys are responsible for getting your match underway right now. Um, X Baco, I haven't heard from. And Morgan 
I don't know where either one of these guys are. So I'm going to go ahead and disqualify x Baco because I haven't even seen his name anywhere. So that's what that's going to be. Let's go ahead and clean up these brackets a little bit. Um, Wednesday and MCD. Have you guys played yet? Because I haven't heard anything. You're still fighting? Okay. Nah, it's okay, Hamo, man. Don't apologize, bro. It's an accident. Shit happens. I'm not mad or anything. All right, Beely and Morgan, you guys need to fight if you guys are able to do so. Um, so what's the next match to get underway here? Martin Matrix versus Shallow Silver. You guys play off stream now. Um, Milo Scorpius, I have not seen either one of these guys. If you're in the chat, please speak up now. If not, I'm about to boot your asses up out of this tournament because I ain't got no time for that. About to ban your asses. All right, so while we're waiting, we're going to be getting the next match underway. We're going to get somebody on the stream who hasn't played yet. So let's go ahead and get Reiji Kuhn versus Leon Ramsey in the stream. After that, we're going to have a Zoe Master versus Blackberry on stream. So let's go ahead and get this shit going. Uh, da -da -da, Leon Ramsey versus Reiji Kuhn. You know, believe it or not, though, guys, this is actually running pretty smooth. Like, for this to be a DOA 4 tournament on the 360, this shit's actually not running too fucking bad. I know we can all admit that. This shit's actually going pretty smoothly. Most of the people are fucking here. Um, who are we waiting for? Rage Coon versus Leon Ramsey? Okay. All things considered, this is running pretty fucking smooth. So, Leon Ramsey, where you at, brother? I don't know where that man is. Where's this man at? I think he was just online, but he's not on anymore. All right, we're going to send Leon, uh, send Leon Ramsey an a invite. He's not on anymore. I don't know where the fuck he went. Here he is. That's the username he's on. So this is Leon Ramsey. I forgot. All right, so let me just go ahead and add this person because this is Leon Ramsey. Howling Cannon, you're going to be fighting... Howling Cannon, you're going to be fighting um, Hamo hey Kinesis. Halo, uh, hey, fuck! Hamo Kinesis. So, one of you guys send an invite and you play a first two. Mr. Cool Dude, one two to nothing. Let's get it. So, Mr. Cool Dude, one two oh. Yo, Wednesday, thank you for playing. I appreciate it. Shoutouts to uh, Wednesday for coming through. Mr. Cool Dude, you're going to be waiting for your next match. So, just hang out. Fuck, this Xbox 360 is so dusty. I can't even fucking invite people. If Morgan isn't here by the time this next match is over with, then we're going to be disqualifying that person because I haven't seen them either. So, Okay, send it to Leon Ramsey now. Okay, god damn it, man. I'm going to fuck y'all up. All right, here we go. All right, let's get it. Who came in? Okay, here we go. All right, so uh, who we got? Let's go ahead and switch up the screen here. All right, who ready up first? Ragey Coon? All right, let's get it. Ragey Coon going up against Leon Ramsey. So I actually played against... Or, I hope I'm not saying his name wrong. I hope it's actually Ragey Coon and not Ragey Cun. <laughs> um, but either way, we got Ragey Cun going up against my boy, Leon Ramsey from the South. Yo, Black Dynamite, you're supposed to be fighting Dio Scott. Black Dynamite, Dio Scott. You guys are supposed to be playing each other. All right? So that means that... Uh, do, 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 do. That means that... Uh, what the fuck are you guys' names at? Shallow Silver and Martin Matrix. You guys are supposed to be playing your match. All right, so looking back at the game here, Reiji Kun going with the Hayate class. If anybody's ever seen that classic DOA 4 video, uh, Perfect Legend versus Master, the commentator was like, Perfect Legend going with the Hayate class. 
<laughs> the Hayate class. Alright, so Leon Ramsey going up one to nothing in the set here, but just like that, Ramsey Kuhn answers back with a round of his own, one to one, in the first to two set here in the throwdown. Alright, there's the stun game. Leon Ramsey looking pretty good right now. Alright, there's the 3P. Punch, punch, punch. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he drops the combo. A little bit of tournament nerves there. Oh my god, I forgot that kick existed. Oh my god, that worked? What the motherfuck? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I forgot that that kick even existed. He kicked the shit out of him. Oh my god. God damn. Kick that man in his motherfucking neck. Alright, two to two. Oh wow, he drops that. Okay, nice combo. Tries to get the combo there. Oh, that's a plus guard break for sure. Nice. Oh my god, high counter hold. Oh my god, oh no. And just like that, the high counter hold by Ragey Coon staying in this. Wait, no, go back. Yes. Yes. I made it. I made it in time. Yo, I'm going to let y'all know right now, all this fucking drama that y'all doing in the chat, bro, y'all going to have to kill that shit, bro. I'm about to ban every one of y'all motherfuckers. We don't do the drama in here. None of that shit is happening. We're trying to play some DOA for it and have a good time. Cut all that bullshit out before I start banning motherfuckers. Please, cut that shit out. Y'all acting like fucking three-year-olds right now. Y'all over here talking about Barbie and fucking Princess and Gumball 12. Nobody gives a fuck about none of that. We're trying to play some fucking DOA, all right? Alright. Yo, Howling Cannon and Heimo Kinesis. You gotta make sure you tell him the correct username, uh, Heimo, because you have numbers at the end of your username. That's why he can't find you, probably. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Alright, so Razor Kuhn looking pretty damn good right now. And there goes the Hayate string that no longer existed. The drama's a part of the DOA 4 experience. Look, I understand, but this is a tournament. We're trying to keep it chilling, man. You know what I mean? Y'all want to do this shit somewhere else? Do that shit somewhere else. Go into fucking, go into to Omega or something and do that shit. Alright, two rounds to nothing. Leon Ramsey in danger to going to losers bracket here. Let's see if he can bring it back. Alright, there's the wild standing punch punch by Ragey Kuhn, and he's looking good right now, man. Nice little wake-up kick there. Gonna get the quick launch, but he doesn't capitalize off of it. And it just looks like uh, Leon is just not able to capitalize off his combos. Like, he's getting stuff started, and he's not really capitalizing off anything. Oh my god, he kicks him in the back of his head. He could come back, and that's it! Uh, and just like that, let me get out of here. Fuck. And just like that, Ragey Kuhn is gonna be moving on in the winner's bracket. Unfortunately, Leon is going to be going to the loser's bracket, but it's not over yet. He's still in this tournament. Let's go ahead and switch this shit up real quick. All right, unfortunately, Ragey, uh, Leon is going to be going to lose bracket, but he's not out of this yet. So, Leon Ramsey and Go Carlo, you guys play your match off stream now. Um, Bealy, I don't think Morgan is here. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move Bealy up because Morgan is not responding. So here we go. Morgan, you have 10 seconds to respond. I don't know if you're in the chat or not for, uh, for sure. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, a 2, a 1. <laughs> All right, you're out of here. All right, Billy, you're going to be moving on in the loser bracket. So wait for your next match. Uh, what do we have next on stream, though? We're moving along pretty fucking well here. Hamo Kinesis, uh, Hamo Kinesis and Howling Candy. Y'all better play y'all fucking match because I'm going to whoop y'all ass. Y'all better play your match right now. Go Carlo and Leon Ramsey. Play your match off stream now. Um, let's get Blackbird versus Azoi Master. Now, I know y'all been waiting for this shit. I've been waiting for this. I want to see how this is going to go. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's see how this shit goes. So I don't have a UK. 
Yeah, but I'm still pretty pro Nah, Leon, you're good, bro. Don't worry about you being a casual player or not, man. You're fucking you play you're playing in a DOA 4 tournament. It doesn't matter how good you are. It's just all for fun. Nobody cares about how good or bad you are. You're here to fucking have fun and play DOA. That's all that's really that's all that matters. Nothing else matters. We're all here to have fun, man. No matter how good you're playing. And you're 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 fine, bro. Don't worry about it. Don't be fucking worried about how you're playing. What the fuck? Where's the Zar Master at? Oh, I didn't accept this friend request or something? No, okay. No! No! Fuck, I almost, fuck, I almost fucked up. How do I leave? This party, laggy as hell, just looking at it. Uh, Blackbeard is ready to go here. And again, I want to remind you guys to please donate to the pot for the Dead or Alive throwdown. This is going to be one of the last Dead or Alive throwdowns that we have in tournament form. You guys know that usually my format is first to tens or first to fives. This is probably going to be one of the last Dead or Alive throwdown tournaments we do. I'm actually thinking about doing a Dead or Alive 2 online throwdown version. I think that'd be fucking awesome. It'd be hard to do it, so we'd probably cap it at like probably six or uh, six or eight players. But I think it'd be interesting though. But nonetheless, listen, I'm not banning anybody. Y'all need to stop acting like fucking little kids, yo. Seriously. Stop acting like fucking kids. Like y'all, I'm sure y'all all grown as hell, sitting at home fucking grow up dude stop acting like fucking little kids y'all ain't even arguing over nothing real like at least argue over some real shit like at least like like have a reason to fucking dislike each other like have a reason to dislike each other like i fucking dislike a bunch of people like don't fucking just like be beefing for nothing what the fuck are y'all beefing for like fucking playing doa4 what the fuck is wrong with y'all <laughs> just block each other the fuck y'all be here dealing with each other's drama for no reason play the fucking fucking watch the fucking stream damn You guys can ready up whenever you're ready. Yo, you guys are fucking up the vibe, man. Let's chill out with, with the bullshit. Let's get these vibes going. Alright, let's get it. Alright. Who is on the left? We got Blackberry on the left. Let's see. If Blackberry can finish my boy Azori Master out, or if Azori Master is going to edge him out, I know you're not about to be Brad Wong. Oh, Helena, okay. What a fucking complicated name to type. Alright, let's get it. I wish I had a, a uh, UK flag, but unfortunately, you know what? Let me go ahead and get a UK flag. Because I feel wrong. Let me see if I can get a UK flag for you, because I feel like I'm fucking cheating you out of your place right now. Hold on, let me get your UK flag ready. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Whoa, what I just lose? Hold on, guys. Give me a second for the commentary. I gotta put this flag up here. Very tedious. There we go. All right, that looks good enough, right? Don't look too shitty. Yeah, I actually, look like a I see Blackberry in the background putting hands on my boy right now. Right? So, all right. Looking back at the screen. Wait a minute. That's not. That's not a. Is that the right flag? That's the right flag, right? Is that the wrong flag? That's the right flag. I'm not tripping. I'm looking back at the screen. It looks like... Okay, that's the right flag. Alright. So, Blackberry Chaos going up 2 to nothing in the set already. It doesn't look too laggy either. I don't know where Peach is from, so hopefully he can tell me where he's from. Alright, up back kick by Azori Master there. He's out of range for the punish, and Azori Master recognizes it. Gets the uh, forward kick kick there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's it. That's a dead character. Just like that. Blackberry in the taunt. Oh, not the taunt. Yo, the connection looks pretty fucking stable, bro. The connection actually looks pretty fucking stable. On. Oh, no, let me out. Let me out. Sorry. I'm going to be fucking this up all night, guys. So, y'all might as well be used to it. I'm sorry. Not the taunt, though. 
Not the tall. Alright, so I don't think a Zoe Master is going to go with another character. I think he's going to stick with Hayabusa. I mean, obviously this is his best character, so I don't really see him switching either. I don't uh, see him switching anyway, so... Let's see if he can make um, Hayabusa work. I mean, I think that he can make Hayabusa work. Because Hayabusa is super strong. Alright, let's see if Blackberry can close this out here. Unsafe, but no punish. Gets the sit-down stun. And as you guys know, you can counter out of sit-down stuns in this game. Nice. Gets the uh, high counter uh, mid-punch hold there by Blackberry. Forward kick the launch into the up kick kick. Beautiful combo there. And no punish, but he opts to go for the sweep. And that's a dead character if he capitalizes. Yes. Blackberry looking like 2009 right now. Wow, that wasn't a true mid back then? Wow. Wow, and just like that, he gets the punch, punch, back punch, down punch. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he doesn't get any force tech there, but the high wake up kick, okay. So right now, we're seeing, I don't know if it's because of Blackberry is used to another DOA game, but we're seeing Blackberry tech up off the ground every single time, but he's running away with this set. It looks, it looks like he's super comfortable. Azori Master looking like he's in trouble right now. Gets the down punch there. All right. Is he going to go for the tech? He is. Gets the force tech. And oh my god, that down back kick stunning on normal hit was so dangerous. Beautiful throw break there, and Azori Master needs to slow it down, and he's gonna... Oh, it's it! Oh, it's to it. That's it, that's it. All right. Blackbeard Carlos is gonna move on. Very good performance there. I was expecting a little more out of Azori Master, but nonetheless, uh, maybe he's gonna bounce back better. I'm not, I'm sure he's. we're gonna see more of him later on. So let's go ahead and get the next match underway. Good games, good games. Um, Blackberry going up two to nothing in the set, so he's gonna be moving on. Azori Master's not out, so Azori Master and Beely, you guys need to play your match off stream right now. Leon Ramsey and Go Carlo, play your match off stream if you have not done so. And I don't know who this George guy is, but we about to go ahead and get rid of his ass um, because we're waiting for who are we waiting for so we can play. Milo Scorpius. Okay, so the reason why, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and move you on. Uh, Peachin because he's not even here. I haven't seen his name anywhere. So So he's out of the tournament as soon as he gets his next opponent. Let me just catch up with these brackets guys um, Shallow silver and Martin matrix. Have you guys played your match yet? Because you guys were been supposed to play you guys got to fucking get on it, man I don't know where you guys are. Oh, no, you're here. God damn it. Uh, how do I go back? How do I go back? Can I redo that? I Didn't even know you were here, bro. Hold on. Hold on um, Fuck God damn it. Uh, how do I go back? I know I can go back. There's a way to go back. I know there's a way to go back. I can, you, you can definitely undo it because I saw it. Uh, I literally just saw it. Can I fix this? Okay, click the edit symbol, okay. Okay, no, 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 okay, cool. Okay, it's that easy, okay. Reopen. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, you guys, Peachin, you guys need to go play your match right, uh, right now, please. Go get your match underway right now. Um, Blackberry is going to be waiting right here in round four. So, I mean, Blackberry is almost fucking to grand finals, man. Oh, you're 3-0 against Howling. Thank you. Uh, Howling Cannon is uh, Howling Cannon is going to be eliminated from the tournament. Yo, Cannon, thank you so much for playing, man. I really do appreciate you spending your time and coming out and playing. Thank you so much for playing. Unfortunately, you're going to be eliminated from the tournament, but it was awesome having you here. Um, Mr. Cool Dude, we're waiting for your next match, so just be patient. Uh, Hamo is going to be moving on because I have not seen this guy anywhere. So, Peachin is here somewhere, yes. Um, let's see. We're moving on here, man. We don't really got much left. We don't really got much left. My issue is how the fuck do I move on to see the rest of the tournament? Like it's literally it stops right here. I guess we'll get there when we get there. You want to get shallow silver? Really? Shallow silver is pretty fucking good, man. Damn. Okay. I see you D.O. Scott out here putting hands on my boy shallow. Sil okay.
So the way we're, the way we're doing the payouts for this tournament is we're going to do the payouts just like any other tournament. So we're going to do, um, what is it usually? It's usually 70, 20, 10, right? Is that usually how it is? 70, 20, 10? Or no, no, no. It's usually, fuck, I forget how it is. Somebody tell me the numbers in the chat towards the end of the tournament. I don't remember how it is. All right, so... Dead or Alive 4, this DOA 4 tournament is not going to be region locked, no. Because it's 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 DOA 4, you know? Wait a minute. George, is this you right here? Attentive George, is this you? 70-20-10, okay, so 70-20-10 is going to be the split. Yo, George, is this you or is this a different George? Okay, it's not you. Okay, cool. So we can move on. Scorpius and uh, Peach, and you guys play right now off stream. Um, so we're going to have the high guy versus Martin Matrix on stream right now. Let's go ahead and get my boy Luke in here. Uh, you guys all play your matches right now. If you guys are able to play your match, if you're not um, high guy and Martin, you guys can play your match. So let's go ahead and get them in here right now. Uh, what the fuck? Look at my boy Luke, man. I, I, ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna let y'all know, boy. My, my boy Luke might fuck y'all up, man. Luke, a lot of people don't know, but I want to give some credit where credit is due. The high guy was one of the, if not one of the best Zack players next to Hatrify, I want to say, back in DOA 4. It was pretty much these two guys that were the best Zack players. This man was top 8 at the only Evo that ever existed for Dead or Alive 4. So make sure you guys show some love. As a matter of fact, the only Evo where DOA was a main game, this man was in top 8. So we got my boy High Guy here. Um, and we're going to be having him go up against... Uh, 2-0, you versus Beely. Okay, thank you for reporting that. Yo, Beely, man. Thank you so much for playing, bro. Shout out to my boy Beely. He's a big supporter of the stream. Uh, thank you for playing, unfortunately, out of the tournament. But definitely, uh, definitely be sure to come back and play in another one, bro. Um, yeah, my boy got third place at EVO, bro. That's nothing to, to wipe your nose. Especially as competitive as DOA 4 was back then. That's a pretty big fucking accomplishment, man. Guardian, what up? What's Shallow Silver's gamer tag? It's Shallow Silver, I believe. Hey, yo, somebody ban the witch on Twitch, please. Yo, the witch, you gotta go. You talking way too much shit. Y'all, y'all been doing this for too long. Y'all acting like fucking little kids right now. Yo, somebody ban the witch, please. I'm not. Yeah, get rid of that person. And um, Goddess Barbie, if you say some more wild shit, you about to get, you about to go, you about to be going too. So y'all in here arguing for no fucking reason, like this is the bachelor or something. Y'all in here arguing for no reason. Please ban, uh, fucking the witch, please. Why are you banning me? Cause you won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's why I'm banning you. Don't shut up. All right, you guys go ahead and get your match and let's get it, man. Look at my deal. I don't give a fuck about your DOA 4 videos. You in here talking shit for no reason. Bro, if I see any of y'all talking shit, I'm banning y'all. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm just going to ban you. Like, we're trying to fucking have fun and play DOA 4 and y'all in here fucking it up. All right, let's go back to the fucking match. I'm trying to focus on this shit. All right, we got my boy, Hi Guy. The legend, the legendary top three Evo finalist for Dead or Alive 4 back in 2006. Talk about an old school fucking vet came back and hooked up his system to play in this shit. Oh, man. All right, let's get it. Let's see what we got here. Let's go. Let's see if my boy Dio Scott can put Paul. I mean, Dio Scott beat Shallow Silver, and Shallow Silver is pretty fucking good. I played him myself. So we're going to see what my boy Dio Scott can do here up against the legendary high guy. 
Ooh, we got a hold. Okay. Oh, no. Deal's not from the UK. Let me switch that. I guess you guys are playing on Experimental Playground, too. Fuck it. I guess we're playing on it. Wow, in the low offensive hold to close the round out. Nice parry on the 11 frame mid. It definitely high guy, definitely looking a little rusty. Beast the wake up kick. The, oh, I love that combo. I forgot. I forgot about that shit. We about to see some dirty ass shit, bro. I forgot about that Zach Tech. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, I remember. I was just like, it's like I'm watching Evo all over again. I just watched the tournament and I remember seeing the Zach Tech, bro. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's unsafe. No punish by Martin Matrix, but he's going to opt out for the quarter circle forward punch. And that's safe. But no uh, no fuzzy there by Martin, but he didn't need to because he didn't get grab punished. Or he didn't try to uh, grab punish from there. It's the forward punch kick, 11 frame mid. Oh my god, what a hold. And Dio Scott looking pretty fucking solid right now. DOA 4. So a lot of people be talking about Dio Scott only really being like a jukebox. He be always calling out the names of every song. Oh my god, he is trying to fuck him up right now. I see what High Guy is trying to do. That's unsafe. No punish. Oh, he tried to parry that. Wait a minute. High Guy getting nasty. He's getting nasty. Yo, Dio Scott be calling out all the songs, bro. Alright, I got you, Rainy Tiki. I'll get, I'll get you on Twitter. Oh, man, and Ma Martin Matrix falling apart. My boy Dio Scott, there's the bound. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's not looking good for Dio Scott. There's the force tech into the 4 4 punch punch. That's unsafe. Wait. Nice. He gets the 3 3 grab. Let's see what my boy High Guy can do to come back, though. And he closes it out with the forward kick. So, fuck, let me get out of here. Yes. So, just like that, the high guy goes up one to nothing. It looked really, really solid from Dio Scott in the beginning, but high guy quickly adapted and ended up closing out the game there. And once again, I want to remind you guys to donate to the Throwdown Pot for the players. Currently, we're doing a 70-20-10 split. So all players in top three will get a piece of this $43 currently right now that's in the pot. Make sure you guys go ahead and show some support to the DOA community. Thank you guys again. Just watching and following and checking out the stream is doing a great job of supporting the scene, obviously. But definitely make sure that you show love to these guys for going back and hooking up their old-ass fucking Xbox 360s. Buying DOA 3 and Xbox Gold, by the way, to play in this shit. Hey, yo, Sir Wild, thanks for subbing, brother. I appreciate it, man. Welcome to the Reigns Fam Guardians on Twitch. Thank you. Enjoy the emoticons, man. Thanks for the support. Let's get it. We got Zany Zapper, the worst DOA 4 song. As a matter of fact, the worst Dead or Alive song of all time, Zany Zapper. Okay, 4-4 four, four punch there by Martin, and he built under the, uh, the high jab with the low counter there, and he gets the fusion punch anyways. High guy looking to play a little bit more patient right now. Let's see if he can get anything going. That's unsafe. And he misses the punish. And he gets the force tech, but he backs off. Definitely looks a little bit laggy there, but um high guy definitely doing a good job of adapting in it, especially because he's up one nothing in the set. And he's gonna No, he's not dead yet. Oh, wait a minute, that's unsafe. And he knows that he's gonna hit him. Okay, so for those of you guys that don't know, the popsicles in the left-hand corner. It represents every character's um, unique streak. So High Guy is on a three win streak, so he has three blue popsicles. So I believe Hitomi, I forget what Hitomi's icon was, but every character, depending on what they like, I guess, in the game or in the DOA universe, they gave them icon for that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's safe, and he gets the forward kick. Nice, and just like that, High Guy's looking to close this game out. And he closes it out with the back kick. Definitely looking like Dio Scott is starting to play a little bit more reckless, not taking his time. But there's the punish there by High Guy. Forward kick. And there's the bounce. And there's the force tech. Oh, my God. Look at the damage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait. He just avoids it. Wait a minute. 
Oh my god, and he gets them hit the button on the forward punch punch string there. Oh wait, that's not looking good. Is Dio Scott gonna crumble to the forward kick oh the forward punch kick string and he is? Let me get out of here. Just like that, Dio Scott is going to go to the loser's bracket, but he's not out of there. Really good show. I mean, I really do like how Dio Scott uh, played at the beginning. It just looks like he started to crumble under the pressure. High guy definitely started to get a, a little bit more used to the game there. As you can see, he started to adapt, do a little bit more setups and combos there, and he definitely adapted there. So um, let's go ahead and check out the bracket where we are. Bam! What the fuck is up, bracket? So we're going to go ahead and advance. The high guy. Going to be going up to semi. Is that semifinals or is that uh, round four? Yeah, it's going up to round four. So this is how the bracket is looking right now. Azori Master currently waiting for the winner of Milo Scorpius. Who is he waiting for? We're waiting for somebody still up here somewhere that's just chilling. Who is it? Oh, no, he's waiting for one of these. Okay. So as of right now, I guess we're safe. Shallow Silver and Mr. Cool Dude. Did you guys run your match yet or no? Shallow Silver and Mr. Cool Dude. Where are we at with Shadow uh, Shadow Silver and Mr. Cool Dude? Dio Scott and Haymo get you guys' match underway right now off stream. And it's actually crazy because you look at this. This is pretty much what you would expect for a tournament like this. The only two guys that are not in this in the winner's bracket at this point that are pretty much old school is Milo is over here. And, um... Oh, wait. Azoi Master, you guys already played? Wait, where's Milo? Did you did you play your first match, Milo, or no? Because I, I could have sworn I, I brought that back. Or did you lose to Peach in 2-0? Mr. Cool Dude won. Okay. Uh, yo, thanks for playing. I appreciate it, Shadow Silver, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for donating, bro. Oh, you lost? Okay, so Milo is in loser's bracket. Mr. Cool Dude and Milo, we're going to run this match on stream. So that loser's match right there, do not play that yet. I'm going to run that on stream. Um, Haymo and Martin, you guys can play off stream right now. So in the meantime, let's get um, Blackberry and Peach in on stream. Really hope you guys are enjoying uh, the first throwdown tournament that we've had in a long time. Let's go ahead and get this match, uh, next match going on stream right quick. Let me get out of here. I don't know why the fuck my dumb ass readied up. Hey Mo, you're fighting Martian, uh, Martin Matrix. Martin Matrix, you're fighting him. Wait, people are typing in the chat? Alright, Blackberry versus Peachin. Why the fuck am I readying up? Why am I readying up? So how are you guys enjoying the tournament so far? I'll be honest. I know it's not super smooth. We're on the Xbox 360. We're playing an old ass game. This shit's running pretty fucking smooth, I'd like to think. Yo, Jaguar, sorry I had to back out of entering today. No, you're fine, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for donating those $3 to the pot, though, man. Thank you. All right, and Peachin, where you at? Blackberry is waiting for Peach to get in here. Hey, yo, Stewart, man. Thank you for... Oh, no. Go Carlo. Thank you for giving a sub to my boy Stewart, man. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the support, all the subscriptions, all the donations for the tournament. Thank you guys so much, man. For real. Like, listen, guys. I'm trying to make it so that we have a DOA community on multiple games. Like, we can have it so that we do a throwdown. Like, I want to make it so that we're doing different games all the time. I don't want to limit my events every two weeks to just one game. If we can do an event on DOA 4 every now and then, like a first to 10. If we can do a first to 10 on DOA 2 Ultimate Online on PC, we can do that. DOA 5, you know what I'm saying? Like... All right, so we're up to $46 in the pot. Let's fucking get it. All right, so Peach, and I don't have a flag for you, so can somebody tell me where Peach is from, please? Sweden? Okay, let me get his flag. Before you guys start, hold on. Okay, so he can hear me. Cool. 
All right, let me grab that flag real quick. Hold on, because I want to make sure you guys are represented properly. I don't have any of these flags on my computer, so let me go ahead and grab this motherfucker real quick. There we go. It's actually really hard to find this flag. Sorry about that shit being so big, guys. Yeah, the reason, guys, the re you have to understand, the reason why, the only time I would ever do an international tournament is when we're playing on the game this old. Any entrance that we can get to playing a DOA 4 tournament, I don't want to turn anybody away. Like, this game is old as dirt. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys can ready up whenever you're ready. All right, let's get it. We got the U.S. going up against Sweden here. Let's see who can take the W. So I wonder what character Blackberry is going to choose. He's got a Kasumi. He's got a Helena. He's got a Kokoro. I know he was playing with Hayabusa because I caught his ass. Or Hayabusa because I caught his ass, so... All right, let's get it underway here. We are going to my favorite stage, and it doesn't look like it's lagging at all. Okay, let's fucking go, baby. This shit looks like, this, how did this shit look so smooth? What, is fucking DOA 4 got a better net code than DOA 6? This shit ain't glitching at all. This is an old school match right here. This is a 2009 match. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he catches him blocking. Alright, and he runs up against the punch. And that's gonna do the uh close out the first round there. Blackbird versus Peach, and there's the shoulder by Peach and get the fuck up off me. Oh, nice back turn. Perry though. Alright, there's the force tech. Yo, what's up, JJ? So, I don't think Peachin is used to the fact that that combo does not connect when Room will hit. Because, again, guys, the launches in this game, because you had to play the stun game to get those higher launches, the launches really didn't give you that much height in this game. Okay, gets caught ducking, and Blackberry's looking to close this out. Wait a minute, is he going to parry again? Oh, my God, he got scared because of the parry. No, that wasn't guaranteed in this game because she was back turned. I don't think it was guaranteed at all. There, guys, there was very little guaranteed damage in DOA 4. Like, very little damage that was guaranteed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, impeaching going up two to one rounds. Are we going to see Blackberry Chaos get sent to loser's bracket here? I don't know, man. This is fucking crazy. All right, Blackberry is swinging back with the Helena class. All right, he's going to back up. He doesn't want to get the wake-up kick. There's the mid-wake-up kick by Peachin, though. There's the force tech. Oh, nice back away into the whiff punish with the back punch punch. Two to two. Wow. We're in the water, so just remember, guys, if you get your feet touched in the water, you can get hit. Because it caused the slip stun in this game on normal hit at that. The water is super dangerous in this game. Alright, there's the mid-kick launcher again. Oh, down forward kick. Wait a minute, Peachin with the accidental jump. Offbeat Ninja CGS. Oh my god. Oh, 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 and that's it. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, Peachin looking pretty fucking strong right now against Blackberry. I don't know, guys. That was pretty fucking godlike. That was a pretty godlike match. So Peachin goes up one to nothing. So this right here, because this is round four, um, I'm pretty sure that this is still two out of three. I mean, the, the issue is that my bracket is not showing me the rest of the tournament. So I don't know where the hell the rest of the bracket is. Like, I can't even swipe over. Like, I don't know how to swipe over on the bracket, so... Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'll have to figure that out later. But yeah, this is two out of three still. Alright, so again, guys, this is two out of three. Peachin looking like he's ready to close this out. Hey yo, oh by the way, go Carlo. Thank you so much for donating 10 more dollars to the pot, man. 
$56 for a DOA 4 tournament. And Pizza looking like he started to remember, bro, that was a 60 per that, that was a 55% a combo. Jesus. Oh my god, and Blackberry trying to close it out. Beautiful combo there. Man, I, you know what's actually crazy? Blackberry, one of his, I believe his main was actually Kasumi in DOA 4. Alright, beautiful high counter mid punch hold by Blackberry. And there's the there's the overkilling. A little bit of disrespect. Okay. Oh, he wants that wall grab, but he's not gonna get it. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, he caught him! He fucking caught him! Dude, I love that shit. This game was so fucking hype. Alright, there's the four, uh, the hard knockdown there, but he's not gonna get the force tech. And Peach with the down forward kick. Nice fuzzy guard. Nice mid punch hold by Blackberry to go up in the set there. One to one. Damn, I wish this was a three out of five. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't get the back out. Let me 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 out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me out. Let's go. I'm getting fucking, I'm getting hype. I'm getting hype. I'm getting hype. I'm getting hype. Okay. One to one. Let's see who's going to advance in the winner's bracket in the tournament. And while we're waiting, let's check out the bracket again. See where we are. Uh, Zoe Master waiting for his next match here. Milo and uh, Mr. Cool Dude. I don't know what you guys are doing, but hopefully you guys already got your match. No, no, no. That's going to be the next match on stream. So, no, you guys are not fighting yet. Um, Hamo and Martin should have already played, though. So, Hamo and Martin, make sure you guys play. Um, MCD and Milo, we're going to get your match on stream next. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, nice. All right, there's the quarter. So another thing about... Oh, he got the max damage. I love it. So one thing about Kasumi in this game, she did not have a traditional forward grab, which means Kasumi could not punish correctly. She couldn't punish anything that was relatively unsafe because her grab was so slow. I want to say her forward grab was 10 frames, so she couldn't even fucking punish anything. Ooh, 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 ooh. Those for the force tech. I love it. Into the combo. Oh, Blackberry got those? Okay. Okay, into the... Oh, that, was, that wasn't the right tech right there. Peach and gets mid-punch. Oh, my God. No, he reacted to that. Nice. Down back punch to close the round out. All right. Four punch kick to start the round. Really risky against Kasumi with the 11 frame mid, but Blackberry doesn't really give a fuck. He's going in with the forward grab, and he's getting that max damage every time. Into the force tech. Jesus, it's so dirty. Oh, he, he's getting too ahead of himself. He messed up the combo. Wow. And one more hit is going to do it. Wait, he tried to offensive hold him. One more hit and Peach and is going to lose his bracket. And that is going to be it. Blackberry Chaos moving on in the tournament. Peach and going to lose his bracket. Really, really, really good set there by those two players. That was sick. That was definitely the highlight of the night so far for sure. Really sick set there. Good game by you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bracket again. Bam. Uh, where are we at? So, Blackberry is going to advance to the semifinals of the winner's bracket 2-1. to one. So, let's go ahead and take a look at where we are in losers really quick. Ragey Coon and High Guy, uh, you guys can play your match really quick. Go ahead and get that out of the way. Ragey Coon and High Guy, get your match out of the way. So, we can do Mr. Cool Dude and Milo. All right. All right, Milo, I don't see him on my friend list. I think he's actually over here somewhere. Yeah, there he is, Milo Scorpius. All right, Milo Scorpius and Mr. Cool Dude, right? Yo, we got 150 viewers across both platforms. That's pretty sick. I'm happy about that. 150 viewers between YouTube and Twitch. That's sick. 106 on Twitch. That's good. If you guys are new to the stream, guys, please do not hesitate to follow the stream. 
Do not hesitate to follow. And if you guys really want to support the stream, definitely be sure to leave a subscribe. You get access to some pretty cool DOA inspired emotes as well as some other funny shit. And also, if you guys are on YouTube, be sure to consider subscribing to that as well as becoming a member. You guys support the YouTube and you guys get access to emotes as well. So Milo Scorpius, um, I actually did not know that Milo Scorpius, I don't know if he played in CGS or if he was just a competitive player, but I did a little research on him and he actually was a competitive DOA 4 player, like professionally. So I don't know what his background was, but he was a, he was a professional DOA 4 player in some capacity. So it's pretty interesting to know that. Let's go ahead and take a look at his, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at his, uh, at his avatar, what we got going on here. We got the, we got my boy, I forget his name, but uh, he's got the Christmas hat on, so we chilling. So the left name is obviously going to, well, the score is going to get reset. Flag has to get reset. And the left name is going to be... Milo. And who else we got? Right name is MCD. Yeah, there's always going to be no-shows in every online tournament, bro. Even offline tournament, there's going to be no-shows. So I think you guys are both from the U.S., so... Let's go ahead and leave that. I think Milo is from the U.S. I could be wrong. If you're not, if he's not from the U.S., if anybody can confirm that for me, I don't know where he's from. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more tournaments in the future, guys. I haven't been able to do anything because I've been busy with life stuff, but these are going to be bi-weekly now at least. Mexico. Okay, hold on. Let me get your flag. Commentator's going to have to wait a second. Oh, you guys don't want to play on the stage? All right, cool. Go back to the lobby. Back to the lobby. You guys already know what to do. You guys already know what to do. You only want to take a chance on the stage? I respect it. Don't even fucking play on it then. Oh, fuck. And that flag big as hell. You guys can ready up whenever you're ready. All right, let's get it. What stage? Emerson <laughs> is Mexican. <laughs> That's my people's flag, JJ. Yeah, so I mean, if you guys want to put your flag, obviously I'm going to respect that and do it if I can in time. So I'm just make sure you guys let me know where you're from so I can stick your flag in there. All right, let's get it. Milo Scorpius, or I hope I'm saying your name right. Milo Scorpius, Milo Scorpius versus uh, Mr. Cool Dude. Let's get it. Let's go. We go into the ninja hideout here. Woo! Oh my god, I forgot about that special side step. Wow. Gets caught by the kick punch. Okay, yo. So one thing about Hayabusa in this game, you guys understand. Everything fucking Hayabusa did stunned on normal hit. His punch punch down back kick. His punch punch, back punch, down punch, they all stunned on Roma hit. Milo going in with the offensive hold, awesome. Going up one to nothing in the setting is Mr. Cool Dude here. Gets the sweep, frame advantage, nothing guaranteed from the Dragon Gunner. Wow, that man jumped off the wall. That shit had so much recovery in this game though. Nice. Milo keeping up the pressure, but Mr. Cool Dude looking like he's trying to close out this round. Ah. Uh, Beautiful way to close the round out there by Mr. Cool Dude with the mid kick. No hold by Milo starting the round out. Quarter circle back throw and high counter. That's going to do about 25%. Oh my god, he caught him in the mouth. Nice mid kick hold to stop the pressure there. He's got to get something started because Mr. Cool Dude is in that ass right now. Unsafe and no punish. Wow, and Milo, Milo, I'm going to call him Scorpius. Scorpius is getting caught by everything right now. He really got to slow the game down. Mr. Cool Dude is playing at a really fast pace, and it's just too much for Scorpius, it seems like. That does not work. Plus frames. That move was so slow in this game. God damn, Mr. Cool Dude looking good. There's the wake-up kick. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. Let's see if Milo can bring it back. 
Scorpius with the run up Azuna. Oh, he got those? Oh my god, he fucking got those. Ah, oh, they did it back up in time. That's why it's so important to have your Korean back that shit down. I did not know that man remember how to do that shit. That was godlike. I forgot that even existed. Let me out of there. Let me get up out of there. Let me get up out of there. Thank you. Y'all better start this shit. Alright. Jesse Campbell, how you doing? Wait, what? 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 Bro, how? 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 Yo, I'll just start this shit. I remember a Syrian Nika. I remember that person. Alright, Mr. Cool Dude goes up one to nothing in the set. Again, we are currently in the loser's bracket. So whoever loses this match is in danger of being out of the tournament and they're not gonna walk away with any motherfucking money at all. So we're gonna see a costume switch by Scorpius. Mr. Cool Dude sticking with the same cool cat Jan Lee costume. Let's see if Mr. Cool Dude or if Scorpius can adapt here. I really, really want to see Scorpius slow it down. Hayabusa has the ability to play really fast pace in this game, but Mr. Cool Dude is obviously the faster character, so he's going to take advantage of it a little better if he's able to play the game at a better pace. Beautiful, but that doesn't work in this game. Get lucky 1-2-0, so let's go ahead and report that match. Good job to Ray Jacoon going down to loser's bracket, still in the tournament. Oh my god, the Hayabusa glitch. I love that shit. Wow, that combo hurt even me. Wow, he caught him. Oh my god, he got him. And Scorpius closing out the round with the Azuna drop. Get ready, fight me. All right, back punch punch. One of the most annoying strings in DOA 4. What the hell is that, bro? Yo, this man, these dudes jumping like Ninja Gaiden right now. Nice hole. Oh, you got those? You, yo, Scorpius, you got those? Oh my god, that shit was fast as a motherfucker in this game. Alright, so Scorpius looking like he's playing a little better right now, but Mr. Cool Dude answers back with a round of his own. Alright, blocks the wake up kick, gets that plus nine frame advantage. Nice low kick hold there by uh, Mr. Cool Dude. All right, beautiful uh, offensive hold to stop the uh, whiff there by uh, Mr. Cool Dude. And there's the forward punch. Nice hold. Nothing's guaranteed, but Milo Scorpius is in trouble right now. There's the punch down punch. No, no, no throw punish. So a lot of people in this game, they used to tend to opt for offensive holds after something got blocked. Wow, that was such a risky punish, and I think that's going to kill. That is going to kill. A risky punish, but I think he knew that uh, Mr. Cool Dude wasn't going to hit a button right there. Wow, he's getting kicked right in his fucking mouth, dude. Forward kick. Uh-huh. Okay, he doesn't go for the uh, Shoho Azuna there. Yo, my boy's jumping over every fucking wake-up kick. Yo, Scorpius going for the big boy Azuna drop again. One more hit and Milo is back into this fight. Let's see if Mr. Cool Dude can bring it back and not get tough. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Oh, he tried to die. What? The what? The what? 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 Bro, what happened? Bro, how did he fucking connect that kick, bro? Backs up away from the wake up kick. Nice whiff punish there, Mr. Cool Dude. Nice scoop there. Oh my god, this is so crazy. They gotta slow it down. Scorpius is in trouble, and just like that, Mr. Cool Dude is going to eliminate him from the tournament, unfortunately. Good shit to both players for making it this far in the tournament, man. Really, really good job. I want to do another DOA 4 tournament, bro. Is that bad? Is that bad that I want to do another DOA 4 tournament? Like, is that bad that I want to do another DOA 4 tournament? That can't be bad. This shit is awesome. Alright. Yeah, I don't know how that connected, bro. I have no fucking clue how that connected. So, let's go ahead and look at a bracket. We got... Um, Mr. Cool Dude moving on to, to zero. 
good job to um to, to Scorpius for making it that far in the tournament. Uh, let's see what we got next. So right now, Mr. Cool Dude and um, Azori Master. I want to see that on stream. So you guys are not going to play yet. Hold out on that. Um, Hamo and Martin, did you guys play your match yet? Dio Scott and Hamo, did you guys play your match yet? Right here. Did you guys play this match already? Emirates should play in the tournament. I was originally going to, but it would have been too much. Trying to run this and, and no one to commentate. I had no one to commentate. I had nobody to commentate, so I, I had to I had could I couldn't play in it. Nobody would have commentated. As for was to commentate next time, he's not gonna he's not gonna commentate this. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for playing, Scorpius. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out of retirement. Milo said he's 5M4. What do you mean he's 5M4? What are you guys talking about? What does that mean, he's 5M4? I don't get that. Like, who won? Who won the tournament? <laughs> I mean, who won the game? Who won the set? Out of um, Martian and, uh, or Martin and Hamo. I don't know which one of you guys won, so I'm, I don't know why you guys are not responding. Hamo, Kinesis, and Dio Scott. The score we played. You guys, five and four, you guys are not supposed to play a first to five. You guys are supposed to be playing first to two. This this is the best two out of three, not best out of five. All right, fuck it. I guess I'll just say he got the win then. You guys are not supposed to be, it should be best out of three, not out of five. I don't know what the hell you guys did. Oh, well. All right, Martin's gonna be uh, Martin's gonna be moving on. Yo, Hamo, thanks for playing, bro. Shout outs to Hamo for coming through and making it to round three in the tournament, man. Thank you so much for playing, Hamo. Definitely be sure to enter next time if we do this shit again. Where are we going next? So, Mr. Cool Dude and the Zoe Master, you're gonna play on stream. Go, Carlo and Martin. You guys play off stream right now. This match right here, you guys get that shit popping right this second. Blackberry and the High Guy. Let's go ahead and run that shit. I've been waiting for this shit at the door, okay? Once again, I want to remind you guys, we are taking donations for the pot. We're currently at $56 of our $100 goal. Everything that you guys donate goes towards the pot. We're doing 70, 20, 10 for the payout, so everybody in top three is going to get some of that. Yes, this is three out of five. This is three out of five. This is three out of five, yes. No, this isn't Grand Finals. We got a long way before we get to Grand Finals. Yo, playing DOA. This is Winners Finals. Uh, where are we going? Blackberry. And get lucky. Where my boy at? The high guy. Yo, Rishi, what up, brother? All right. So I want to remind you guys, these are two Dead or Alive 4 vets right here, okay? Blackberry has been offline for this game. High Guy has been offline in top eight, top three Evo, the only offline uh, Evo where DOA was a main game. The only time Dead or Alive was a main game. This is best three out of five, first to three. Let's see what can happen. I might have to switch the winner stays. Why's that? I'm not the one who has to. It is Winter Stays. Wait a minute. Dio, are you saying that um, Hamo won, won the game then? If Hamo won two matches, then he's still in the tournament. And Dio Scott, unfortunately, is eliminated. So we'll go ahead and reverse that then. So Hamo is still in the tournament. Let's reverse that. 
and Dio Scott unfortunately is eliminated. So let me go ahead and switch that. So if he did win a first or two, then that's where it is. So Dio Scott, thank you for playing, man. I appreciate it. Um, Hamo and Go Carlo, you guys play your match right now. Hamo and Go Carlo, you guys play your match. This is the next match on deck for stream. And um, unfortunately, Dio Scott's out of the tournament. Where's Mystic? Mystic? Mystic don't play DOA no more. Kasumi Sand definitely doesn't play DOA anymore. Yo, you guys can start this shit whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm working on it. I was gonna get to that. Shit, I gotta catch up. All right, this is first two, three. This is where we start getting real fucking serious in this tournament. These are two, two DOA veterans right here, and uh, both have had experience playing this game in an offline setting. So uh, let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. This is gonna be a really interesting matchup because both players sporting that 11 frame mid. I think Zach had a nine frame jab in DOA three, not this game, but I could be wrong. He might have had a nine frame jab. I wasn't competitive with this game, so I didn't know any of the frame data back then, but I'm sure Matt Ponton in the chat can school me on that one. Oh, that man picked Spartan? Oh, he added in two, okay. Two and three, okay. Bro, my boy picked Spartan, bro. My boy Blackberry picked fucking Spartan. And we got this, oh man, I love this remix, bro. This is such a good remix. We got the Crash Club fucking, um, I want to say this is the, the Zach remix, right? Oh, no, no, no. Is this Zach's? No, 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 this is Jan Lee's, right? It's Jan Lee's uh, remix. All right, here we go. High wake up kick there, but it whiffs. No punishment by Blackbeard. Maybe he was out of range there. All right, high guy looking pretty strong, Blackbeard. I don't know. Oh, nice low grab. All right, high guy up in the set, one to nothing. Goes for the forward grab, Blackberry, no buttons right there. Ooh, 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 okay. And oh my God, I forgot Rage Odd. Uh, Spartan could punish wake up kicks, guys. Spartan could block wake up kicks and punish them in the corner. Or no, I think it was just out in the open. No, no, it was only in the corner, I think. Wow, he goes for the fourth tech. I forgot about that shit. Yo, high guy is so filthy, bro. Yo, Blackberry is going to have his work cut out for him right now. I think he's playing around. There goes the big throw. Plasma grenade. Big damage against the wall. And there's the neutral throw. No break by Blackberry. Mid wake up kick. Where's the force tech? Wow, that didn't hit. Okay. All right, one to two here in the set. Forward punch kick. Get that 11 frame mid. Okay, nice down back punch there by Blackberry. Oh, that was a bad whiff. Nothing's guaranteed right here, though. Ah, uh ah, -uh. ah. Uh -uh. Blackberry's in trouble. Down to one hit. Down forward kick, and that was a beautiful hold by High Guy to close the round out. Make sure you guys go back to the lobby. Don't beat me up, please. Oh, fuck. I'm stuck. That's all right. I'll go back to the lobby myself. It's okay. All right, so High Guy going up in the set there. No, you're good, bro. I'll just go back to the lobby. I don't care. I can't pause the game, but... Get ready, fight. I gotta do this first, though. Oh, I fucking suck. Okay. So, high guy goes up one to nothing in the set. It is a first to three. So, let's see if Blackberry is going to change his character. So, a lot of the times you guys notice in these tournaments when it's first to three, people usually have a little bit of wiggle room. Blackberry had a little wiggle room but now he's running out of fucking wiggle room right now okay so he's gonna go with a more serious character lay fame oh no he's going kasumi okay so again guys high guy is a it's a top three evo doa4 finalist the only time the evo doa was ever a main game at evo this man was in top three back in 2006 15 years ago jesus isn't that some shit 
Alright, let's see if Kasumi is the right pick. Oh, Experimental Playground. <gasps> Yo, Zack ugly as a motherfucker. Let me out of here, high guy. Look at Mr. Bone, though. Alright. So I think we have to switch the names, right? Fuck it, I'm not switching the names. You guys know who's who. We're not switching the names. Fuck that. Alright. Ah, fuck it. I'll switch the names. This is gonna bug me if I don't. Ah, uh, so we are going to the lab stage. Get ready. Let's see who can capitalize the most on this stage. Because again, this, this stage has the extra damage on the ground. And uh, Kasumi has those really hard knockdowns in her combos with the cartwheel. So let's see if Blackberry can take advantage of that. Let me update the score too. Left score. I'm trying to adjust all this stuff. Alright, we're good to go. Alright. Here we go. Blackbeard is starting off really strong, getting the neutral throw again. That extra damage from the floor is going to play a big factor in here. And he tries to go for the force tech. He's negative right there, unfortunately. Nice high counter hold there by High Guy. Oh, there's the back kick. Beautiful. Nice high hold by the High Guy. Blackbeard is in trouble this round. I don't know if he can bring it back. Oh my god, he missed the punish. I know he didn't want that throw. Very, very beautiful two rounds there by Blackberry on the stage. Let's see if High Guy can bring it back. If anybody in this tournament can, it's him, but it's not looking good. Tries to go for the Force Tech, but he misses it by a couple of frames. Hard knockdown. There it is. What's he going to do? Oh, he catches his back with that quarter second four punch kick. Oh, that was safe, I believe, right? I don't know if he just missed the punish or not. But it's looking like Blackberry is going to run away with this pretty convincingly. All right, beautiful down forward kick kick to close out the round there by Blackberry. He's going to tie the score up one. To Fuck, Blackberry. You got to back out, bro. I'm sorry. Don't push X, please. She ain't safe. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Yeah, it wasn't made safe until six, I guess. Thank God for spectating, bro. Jesus, this is annoying as a motherfucker. Kasumi was really unsafe. Yeah, Kasumi was super unsafe. I, I do remember that. A lot of her shit was unsafe, and her grab game was trash. Alright, here we go. One to one. We are tied first to three here at the Throwdown Online DOA 4 edition. And you motherfuckers switched your fucking sides again. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, man. Well, I guess it's my fault for fucking not backing out, so this is my fault. Oh, well. I'll hold the L. It is what it is. Alright, we are going to the Kyoto, uh, the Kyoto stage. This is one of my favorite stages in DOA history. A lot of people shit on the stage, but I don't know why. Okay, oh, he interrupts that. Beautiful interruption there by High Guy. 4 4 punch punch. Doesn't catch him holding though. Alright, there's the beautiful uh, forward grab, uh, quarter circle forward grab there. Well, in this game, it was forward grab, but it was 10 frames, so. Nice, gets the guaranteed force tech into the unholdable. Yo, High Guy remembers all his tech, bro. He remembers all his tech and it's literally slowly coming back to him right now for sure. I want to put this somewhere where you guys can see it, so I might just stick it up here. Okay, there's the combo. He's going to get the max damage right there, it looks like. Nice uh, into the elbow there, and I don't know if he's going to get this. Wow, he actually turned around and got that combo somehow. Nice way to close out the rounder by Blackbeard, tying up the rounds one to one. 
Nice gets the uh, forward kick in that string. Beautiful. And he tries to go for the combo, but he doesn't get the extension. Both players kind of feeling each other out right now with the spacing. And just like that, if Blackberry capitalizes, that's a dead character. That combo does so much on high counter. Oh my god. Hi guy is in Stun City right now. He's gonna jump over this chair. Wow, beautiful. And that doesn't connect in this game. High guy's definitely not used to that. Maybe it does on counter hit or high counter, but nice forward kick, down kick, into the down forward kick. Nice. That's big damage. Quarter circle back grab there by by a high guy. High guy in the currently with the life lead right now. Let's see if he can close the round out against Black Bear. Black Bear trying to get in with something beautiful. Oh, and he misses the combo. Oh my god, the range on that forward punch kick is so fucking deceiving, man. Black Bear starting off the round pretty strong with the stun. Is he he's not gonna get the partition though? Oh, he gets the sweep frame advantage. Wow, high guy putting him in the mix. Oh my god, Blackberry with the uh, down forward was K launch. Doesn't want to go for the punish because he oh did you see the fucking hold? Bro, he deserved that round for everything that just happened. He just countered down back kick punch. And then fucking went under the high wake-up kick with the fucking launcher. That was godlike by Blackberry. That was fucking sick. Blackberry going up two to one in the set. I'm sorry for not backing out, guys. I'm, I'm, I, I can't do it all, guys. I can't do it all. So Blackberry is currently one round away from sending High Guy down a loser bracket, which really honestly isn't a bad thing. Because High Guy is still really, really far into the tournament. So he's got a lot of a lot left, essentially. And I'm trying to figure out if there was something I had to do here. And I don't remember what the fuck it was. There was something I had to do on the screen. Oh, I wanted to add a text. Bear with me one second, guys. If you don't hear me talking, it's because I'm trying to edit something into the stream right now. So bear with me. All right, give me one second. I got you guys. Hold on. I don't know what that is. I just moved it. Like that. All right, so I can see in the background that high guy just went up around. So let's see if he can keep up this momentum. I'm not trying to fucking move that. What is he moving right now? There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to move this throwdown thing. I forgot to add it earlier. Really. And it's bugging me. I'm one of those people that go crazy about little details like that. Game, so. Uh, so I'm just looking in the background. It looks like Blackberry is trying to pull this shit out. One to one in the set here. Beautiful way to keep the stun going there by High Guy. And this is one of those setups I was telling you guys about. Look how much damage High Guy just took away from Blackberry Chaos with the staircase. A little bit of fun fact for you guys that you might not know. The staircase did not kill. So just like in DOA 6, I'm um, sorry, unlike in DOA 6, if you knock somebody down in this game off a ledge, if they were about to die, it does not kill. They're still alive. All right, down forward kick by Blackberry. He's trying to go for the save throws, but he's holding too fast to get out of it. Beautiful sweep by High Guy. Wait a minute, High Guy looking to run away with this shit. Oh, this is such a sick fucking set. High Guy closing it out, man. Two to two, and I got it back out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm fucking y'all up right now, but I, I, I'm trying to commentate the matches, okay? Give me a break here. So it's currently two to two in the set. If you guys think High Guy, because it's hard to tell, I can't call this right now. If you guys think High Guy's gonna be moving on in the set, type one. If you guys think Blackberry's gonna be moving on, type two for Blackberry. Who do you guys think is gonna move on? This is the last uh, game in the set here. I just wanna make this like a thicker aerial black. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Uh, we good. 
Alrighty, and we are going to the bridge stage, which is a very, very, very good stage. I, in my opinion, took this wall. That's going off the window right now because now she can't take advantage of that uh, extra damage from the combo off the ledge. We're going to the water. So again, I want to remind you guys. You need my help. What, what do you guys need? What do you guys need from me, Go Carlo? Give me a second. Wait till this game is over. I got you if you need help with something. So again, one thing about the stage, if you hit somebody with a low on the stage, they are in a critical stun state. Look at that. Even if you get touched. He can't get that punish because he's out of range, but Blackbeard is going to close the round out with the uh, forward punch down kick there. No, Hamo and Go Carlo, you guys are first to two. You're not three out of five until you guys get to losers finals. Hi guys, trying to take this game. There's the force tech. What's the mix up? Oh, I love that. That's so sick, man. Wow, hi guys, keeping it close. One to one. Two more rounds. Oh, man. Dude, this is so sick. I love this fucking game. I love it. I really do. Down forward kick by High Guy. Blackberry's in trouble. He's got to get something going. And it looks like we can definitely tell. Oh, my God. He gets the Force Tech. Blackberry in trouble. Beautiful hold. That was the combo, too. And unfortunately, he didn't get it. Did he just counter forward? Did he just counter a mid kick at neutral, bro? This guy is a fucking beast. Blackberry's in trouble. He gets the sweep. Is it gonna open him up? And High Guy is not playing. This man is on buttons. Blackberry is in danger of going to lose his bracket right now. What can he do? All right, there's the stun by Blackberry. He's getting something going. Nice mid kick hold there by High Guy. It's not gonna be enough. Can High Guy hold onto this and close it out? Or is Blackberry gonna bring it? Wow, what a fucking hold. He's a beast. He's got to do back punch kick right there, or forward punch kick right there. Beautiful max damage combo there by Blackberry. Can he capitalize and close the round out? Wow. Wow. Wait a minute. There's the mix up. Dude, he can close this out if Blackberry doesn't hit this man with something. If High Guy touches him, that could be it, and vice versa for Blackberry. What's going to happen? Wait. Oh my God. He fucking hauled him with the lips, the fucking slip stun, and he's going to close it out with a taunt. What a fucking set. What a fucking set. What a fucking set. And he closes this out with the fucking Zack taunt, bro. What a fucking set, dude. That was crazy. And unfortunately, Black... Yo, the slip stuns was not no fucking joke in this game, bro. You gotta be careful in that fucking water. Let's look at the brackets and see where we are. So we just saw a uh, high guy, man. The old school Evo top three finalist. The top three finalist from 2006 just sent Blackberry to lose his bracket. Let's see if Blackberry can work his way through lose brackets. So that's going to send Blackberry down all the way up to this round. So we got to catch up here. Um, Mr. Cool Dude and the Zoy Master. Let's go ahead and get you guys' match underway now. Go Carlo and Haymo. Who won you guys' set? Did you guys not play your match yet? You guys are playing. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Cool Dude and the Zoe Master. I know a lot of people want to see this one. This is going to be best two out of three as well. Best two out of three as well. So, uh, let's, let's see who can take this. I really need some water, guys. Talking by yourself for two and a half hours is definitely exhausting. And I'm going to have a sore throat tomorrow for sure. Like, I remember back when I was commentating the DOS 6 World Championship all year in 2019. Bro, my voice was shot most of the year, dude. Like, for real. I was about to die, I think. Definitely wish I had a partner to commentate with because my voice is shot right now. Once again, let me show you guys what we're up to in donations, $56. Thank you guys so much for donating to the DOA4 uh, edition of the Throwdown. Uh, $56 as of now is going to be split up three different ways. 
Um, let's go ahead and get back into the fight. You guys are ready to start up whenever you're ready. Let's reset the score here. And we have... Zara Master on the side here. And we have Mr. Kudu. Get ready, fight! Let me get the flag right real quick. Make sure you represent my boy correctly over here. All right, here we go, zero to zero on the Gambler's Paradise stage. And as I'm looking at the screen here, Azori Master's already ahead, and I think he's gonna close that out with the Zuna drop, and that is going to do it. Look at my boy Jan Lee with his french fries. Look at my boy Hayabusa with his uh, sushi over there, chilling. Wow. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Somebody has to clip that. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody's got to clip that shit. That was fucking disrespectful, bro. That was fucking disrespectful. Nice throw there by Mr. Cool, dude. Tried to back away. Man, that Jin Lee dragon, uh, dragon step to back away was so slow in this game. Like, it was super slow until 5. Wow, gets the force tech. That was so sick. All right. So, uh, Mr. Cool Dude finally gets a round on the board here against the Zori Master, but the Zori Master's still up two to one. Nice. Recognize the four punch kick. That's unsafe in this game. Beautiful punish there by um, by Zori Master. Recognize the free cancel. Tries to go in there with some string pressure. Uh huh. Is he gonna go for a tech? He's not. Uh -huh. Alright, so Mr. Cool Dude's in trouble right now. If he gets touched one more time when this and that car is gonna kill him. Oh my god, he got lucky that motherfucker swerved. Wait, they gotta watch out! Mr. Cool Dude trying to bring this shit back. Oh, that doesn't work in this game. Wow, wow. Why would he try to do back punch? Such a slow move. That was such a bad option. Mr. Cool Dude, just like that, because the one mistake is back into this. That's unsafe. Knew he was going to hit a button, and there goes the up kick, up kick. Beautiful hole by Mr. Cool Dude to stop the pressure. And right away, you can tell Mr. Cool Dude is a lot more comfortable with DOA 4 because he literally just brought that back from nothing. Mr. Cool Dude, when the tournament first started, definitely looked a little, uh, little out of place there, but he's definitely looked like he's warming up to the game. One to nothing in the set. Let's see if Azori Master can adapt. And I'm fucking stuck, man. God damn it. This is so fucking annoying. I'm about to watch from the lobby, bro. We're about to watch out here. We're about to watch from the TV, guys. Let's go. We're about to watch from the big screen. So while we're waiting for the next game to start, let's take a look and see where we are in the bracket. Right now... We have Blackberry all the way up here in this part of Loser. So he's pretty much waiting to see who uh, loses uh, the, the, the semifinals up here. Or not the semifinals. He's waiting to see who loses in this one Loser's match so we can try to advance the grand final. So we still got a little bit of tournament left. Not too, too much. But um, let's go ahead and see who can bring this, 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 this W to, to, to their home base right now, man. Beautiful fucking block. That was such a good block, man. Wow. That was a textbook block. I ain't gonna lie. He needed that shit. So one thing that we really have not seen yet so far, we haven't really seen... God damn. We haven't seen anybody stagger escaping off of the wall yet. Like, seriously, we really haven't seen that shit from anybody. He gets clipped by the forward forward kick, and Mr. Kudu answers back with a forward punch kick of his own. Man, that man backflipped out of the way of that shit. Yo, look how far away the fucking... Uh, the, the Hayabusa stance punch left you in this game. It's super, like, super close in DOI 6. And from DOI 5. 
That was a really good reaction. I'm pretty sure Zori Master was going for an Azuna drop there, but unfortunately he missed it, it looked like. Nice whiff punish, and that's not it. Oh, that is a dead character. God damn. Yeah, you're probably right, uh, get lucky. Okay, so there was a little bit of a stagger off the wall. Beautiful mid kick hold there by Mr. Cool Dude to close out that round. And Azori Master, like, it, like, if you guys remember from back when the tournament first started, and we've seen how Mr. Cool Dude is playing, he's like a whole other player right now. He's really starting to adapt to this game. And that's not looking good, and Azori Master is going to go down two to nothing in the set. Mr. Cool Dude is on fire. And just like that. Mr. Cool Dude is going to be moving on in a bracket, and Azori Master is going to be out of the tournament, man. Yo, Azori Master, thank you so much for playing, bro. It means a lot that you came out and played, especially with you being all the way over there and fucking uh, in the UK. So, thank you so much for playing, man. Definitely look forward to seeing you again in another one of the uh, throwdown challenges that we have. Uh, really good shit, man. Good job for, uh, making it to round four, man. That's not, uh, not easy to do. Good stuff, man. All right, so Mr. Cool Dude and Ragey Coon, you guys are going to play your match off stream now. Um, go Carlo and Hey Mo Kinesis. I'm trying to figure out who won out of you guys' match. Who who won out of you guys' match? Did you guys not play yet? Okay, you guys still didn't play. All right, you guys got to get your matches done. I mean, as a matter of fact, I mean, we don't have any other matches to run, so we have to run Ragey Coon versus Mr. Cool Dude. And then after we get done these right here, everything else is going to be three out of five. So from here up is going to be three out of five. But right here, you guys are not going to be playing three out of five. You guys are going to start three out of five for losers right here. So Ragey Coon versus Mr. Cool Dude. It looks like we have to run that one, right? Because there's, no, there's nothing else ready. Yep, Mr. Cool Dude, get back in here. Let's run your next match. All right, while we're waiting for Mr. Cool Dude to get back in here, we're going to go ahead and switch the screen so you can look at my black ass. Mr. Cool Dude, Mr. Cool Dude, where you at? And Reggie Coon. This is going to be an interesting one for sure because Reggie Coon is really, really good with Hayate. And I know, I'm pretty sure that he actually plays DOA 6. I thought I'd seen him on DOA 6 at some point. So um, he knows how to play DOA for sure. Maybe just not really too accustomed to DOA, uh, DOA 4 at this point. Obviously, and a lot of people really aren't, you know. Mr. Cool Dude and Blackberry will be good. And they're going to fight at some point in the bracket, it looks like. Yep, they're going to have to fight because you're sitting in fucking uh, grand finals right now, so... All right, so you guys are both in here, right? You guys can go ahead and start this shit up. Let's go, baby. Left name, we got Mr. Cool Dude now, so I'll go ahead and switch that up. Bear with me, guys. Both of you guys are from the U.S., right? Yep, so that makes it easier on me. Yeah, you guys got to figure out what you're doing with your match. Like, I don't know what's taking you guys so long. You guys should have been done that shit. You guys, Ragey Coon, you guys should have... Not Ragey Coon, um... Go Carlo, you guys' match should have been done, bro. Like, that was like 30 minutes ago. I don't know what's taking you guys so long. Alright, here we go. First to two. After this match, we're going straight to first to threes. How do you make it three rounds? When you make the lobby, you guys have to change it to three rounds. All right, there's the block. Nice punishment. So, again, I saw Reiji Kun playing DOA 6 recently, and this guy knows how to play DOA. He knows how to punish. He knows Hayate. Wow, that was such a good... Oh, shit. Oh, Reiji Kun. No, no, no. What are you doing? <laughs> you threw that one away, brother. Nice hole by Mr. Cool, dude. Beautiful forward punch kick. Wow. 
Tries to go for the force tech and he misses it. Nice hole by Mr. Cool Dude. He's so essentially what Mr. Cool Dude is doing, he's really stopping all of Razy Coon's pressure. Oh, that doesn't work in this game. That's DOA 6, bro. You gotta do 4 4 4 kick, kick, kick. Wow. Damn, Mr. Cool Dude's putting the hurt on my boy Razy Coon right now, man. Damn. Nice. Razy Coon trying to get something started. Nice. Gets hit with the high wake up kick, though. Mr. Cool Dude with the 3 3 3 P out of here. Nice, uh, nice four punch kick out Mr. Cool Dude. Nice punishment. He recognizes the string is unsafe. Goes for the down punch and actually gets it. Wow. Nice back is with K. I want to see more of that. Ragey Coon is not using back is with K at all. He's got to use that move. It's imperative. Like, that move is mandatory. He's got to use that move. Mr. Cool Dude going up one to nothing in the set. Let's see if he can bring it back. Let's see if Ragey Coon can make something happen, man. He's in trouble. So right now, what I want to see Ragey Coon doing more, I want to see him taking advantage of DOA for Hayate more. Back H plus K into down back kick for the setup. Um, you know, a lot more punch grabs. You got a punch grab in DOA 4. Super strong to do. So um, you guys definitely got to keep... Uh, keep up with everything that you're doing man especially like you know i know doa4 is old and we haven't really played it but you definitely got to make sure you're getting the right stuff going so back ace was kwa hayate is imperative you got to throw that shit out there for sure no punishment on the special side step there no punishment on the back kick forward kick there from mr cool dude super surprising because that string is actually in doa5 and six nice flips over him on the wall Nice, starting to see that wind dash. I love that. Starting to finally see Razy Coon take advantage of DOA 4 Hayate. God damn, that shit did a lot. Not gonna kill, but Mr. Cool Dude. Oh, nice special wake up there by Razy Coon. He's not going for the right tech. Billy. Oh my god, he just killed him by riding his face down the fucking stairs. God damn. <laughs> Nice, back east was K, I love it. Uh, he's not going into it right though. Back east was K, you gotta do the down back kick confirm. Nice. That's unsafe in this game. Excuse me. That dragon kick is not unblockable though. <laughs> or that black dragon kick is not blockable though. Nice, he realized it. Wait a minute, wrong punish by Mr. Cool Dude. There we go. Beautiful punish on the forward grab on the down back kick punch there. And that's unsafe. Nice punish. All right. Ragey Coon is one round away from being eliminated from the throwdown. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Mr. Cool Dude is on fire right now. He's literally got Ragey Coon completely shook. Like, he has he has him not going to even move right now. Uh-oh. He's getting mixed. He's getting poked. He's getting DOA forward. 6PK wasn't safe in this game, yeah. Beautiful hold that doesn't work in this game, but he got the tech off of it somehow. Wow, and that's it. Beautiful way to close it out by Mr. Cool. You know, unfortunately, Razy Cool is going to be eliminated from the tournament, but he did a really, really good job, though. I mean, this man made it. Uh, this man made it pretty fucking far, dude. Round five, bro. Don't be, don't be, uh, don't be upset about round five. That's pretty good, dude. Mr. Cool Dude's good. He's a good DOA player, man. All right, Razy Coon is eliminated. Yo, um, so this is what's going to happen. Uh, go Carlo and hike. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. You guys are taking way too long. So while you guys are doing your match, I'm going to run to the kitchen to get some water. I got to use the bathroom. So we're going to do a short intermission, guys. Don't go anywhere. You guys need to hurry the fuck up, okay? Y'all got, by the time I come back from the bathroom, to be finished y'all fucking set, okay? Don't go anywhere, guys. I'm going to go to a short, a very quick intermission. Give me about two minutes. Everybody hang out, chill, talk in the chat. Don't fucking go anywhere. I'm going to put some music on, actually. Wait, can you guys hear the DOA 4 music or no? I don't think you can, right?
All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm fucking munching on today. Thank you guys for staying tuned to the throwdown. Today, your boy for lunch or for pre-dinner is gonna have a nice succulent banana. <laughs> Why the fuck did I do that? Um, and I got some uh, some barbecue flavored barbecue flavored uh, cashews here. All right. Um, yo, if y'all clip that. If any of y'all clip that, I'm fucking banning you in my chat. I'm gonna go and check and see who fucking clips that shit and I'm banning every one of you. So you fuck around and clip it if you fucking want to. I tell you what. Go ahead and clip it. Go ahead and fucking clip it. I swear to God I will ban you. You will never talk in Emory Rain stream again. I, I can check who's clipping shit. That banana looks dusty. What the fuck you call whose banana you calling dusty? Whose fucking banana you calling dusty? And I'm not eating it like that, so get the fuck out of here. <laughs> babe, get the fuck out. Babe, what are you doing in here? Go. Ahead. Clip it. See what the fuck happened to y'all. Right, hey, Mo, uh, who won your match? Yo, JC Chris, holy fuck, what's up, man? Dropped in the lurk. Admiral Love, what up? How you been? Haven't seen you in a long time. JC Chris, where the fuck have you been at? Guys, if you want to clip the banana thing, you can. I was fucking joking. I'm not I'm not being serious, guys. Come on. I don't give a fuck if y'all care about if I fucking wipe the banana across my neck. Like, what is that supposed to mean? I wiped the banana across my neck. Like, what are y'all gonna do about it? I don't give a fuck. Alright, so Hamo won his match. So let's go ahead and adjust that. Oh, y'all already. Okay. So, next up on stream, for the last first to two, we have Hamo versus Peachin. We have Hamo versus Peachin for the last match. That's first to two. Let's get it. Get your asses up in here. Succulent banana shouldn't go together. Says who? It's a succulent motherfucking banana. Like, the fuck? Who else is supposed to be in here? Uh, Peach and Hamo. So, Hamo, if you win, you cannot switch your character, brother. All right, just remember that for this time. All right, ain't nobody sucking on a fucking banana, bro. All right, y'all on some bullshit right now. I didn't fucking suck a banana. Get the fuck out of here. When did y'all see me suck a banana? Playing Tekken 7 until Leroy and Fox come out? What do you mean until they... Oh, until they came out. Oh, are you coming back to DOA or... If you guys don't know, JC Chris was one of the best iron players in DOA 5. Me and her actually used to have a lot of iron matches back in the day. Peachin? Uh, Peachin, ready up second. Oh, fuck. Yo, Peachin, if you can, ready up second. So switch that around. Because I have the, um, I have, I want to get your flag over there. Fuck! Okay, cool. Uh, I'm about to eat the rest of my banana in peace, where y'all can't see me do it. Fucking, fucking. Enemy. All right, guys, can ready up now. Yeah, but JC Chris, you can play Hatomi, bro. Alright, hold on, let me uh let me get their names right, hold on. Fuck, you guys fucked up anyway, okay. Alright, so 
That's what I mean? Hey, mo yeah. Man, that's a fucking mouthful of a name. You should probably go on the Twitch stream, bro, because a hundred people, a hundred people are on Twitch and there's only like 30 on YouTube, so I would go to the Twitch stream. That's just me being honest. There's a lot more people on, uh, on Twitch right now. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I had the names right. Fuck. I'm fucking up right now. Who's Hitomi? <laughs> Hitomi is, um, I had the flags wrong, not the names. Hitomi is on. Pretty much. Oh, fuck, the background music alone. Fuck, I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for telling me. I'm still trying to get you guys' flags right, so bear with me. Oh, this shit is laggy as a motherfucker. I'll be back, y'all. This shit is laggy as a Oh, well. All right, let me uh, let me finish the rest of my banana before I start comment before I start commenting. I got a mouthful of banana right now. All right, let's get it. So Hamo going with Christy. We don't see the Lisa popping up. So one thing again, yo, Killer, you see Peachin', bro? You see Peachin' out here trying to get right. Uh, Peach him with the beautiful high punch hole there. I'm gonna eat some. I'm gonna eat some almonds too. I'm hungry. Yo, Tayden, what up? Tayden, is that Ninja Tayden? I remember Ninja Tayden. You were my friends this way back in the day. If that's who that is. Nice back kick there. If that's Ninja Tayden, damn, dude, oh my god. All the old school guys are coming out now. This is gonna do so much motherfucking damage, bro, oh my god. Damn! <laughs> she said, yeah! That was fucking disrespectful, dude. It's actually crazy because the speed difference in this matchup is actually pretty substantial. Ooh, I think he should have been up for a kick right there. But it looks like Peachin is really getting most of it started. He's gonna go for the... Auto Does that work? Back kick. He's gonna continue to stun. Man, that stun was ass in this game. Oh my god, he missed the punish. DOA 4 line. Oh, that's it. Bro, Tina was funny as hell. She said, yeah. Guys, I forgot to back out. I'm sorry. Yo, can someone please remind me to back out from that one? I'm so bad, dude. I'm so bad at backing out. I'm fucking trash. Christy is so weak in four. Yeah, Christy was pretty was pretty weak in four. All right, here we go. Get ready, fight. It's not really necessary that Christy was weak in this game. She, wait, how did I get up there? Oh, it's going to play out. Um. It's not really necessarily that Christy was weak. It's just that if you look at Christy in DOA 5 and 6, she was nowhere near what she is now, bro. Like, Christy was nowhere near as good as she is now. Nowhere near. Not even close. Yo, uh, Hemo. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, well. I'm not switching the size again. Um, 
Yeah, Ayn's back kick and 6 people's K were amazing. This is when Ayn was actually a good fucking character, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down with the commentating guys just a little bit because my throat is like killing me and I'm trying to drink water to like fucking make it feel a little better so give me a break for a couple of matches because I've been commentating for fucking three hours non-stop and my throat is about to burn so Get ready, fight! Uh, so Hemo taking advantage of the fact that his character is faster already. Starting off the round with the jabs. Alright, beautiful mid-punch holder by Peach. And oh, that booty bump was booty in this game, literally. <laughs> Alright, 3P, 9P. Wow, he's gonna fucking die from that. 100% he's gonna die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, he didn't. No, he didn't just catch him out of the fucking air after get hit by that taxi, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, Peachin is putting the Tina hands on this man right now. Nice hold there by Hemo to stop the pressure. Forward punch into the back kick. There's the wall splat, and he didn't get the stagger in time. Nice up forward kick. That's going to fucking hurt. Nice. Gets the force tech. Down punch is used to tech in one hit in this game for the most part. Wow, he tried to jump over the down punch with back kick, but unfortunately it was too late. Oh, wow. That was so ugly. <laughs> Some of Chrissy's animations were so good. Oh, my God. Alright, Hemo working that motherfucking. Oh my god, that did not combo. <laughs> nice up forward punch kick right there. Oh my god, he just brought it back. Oh, yo, Kirsty's punch, punch, down kick, stun on normal hit in this game. Oh no, DOA, what was you doing, baby? That's gonna fucking hurt. That didn't do as much damage as it does in 5 and 6, though. Alright, Ace plus K. There's the pressure. Up forward kick. This this is gonna kill. He's dead as a motherfucker, actually. Like, he was super dead. Oh, no. Go back. Fucking bitch. Yup. Too late. I mean, honestly, I hope you guys are having a good time. Like, I hope everybody who's playing in the tournament isn't getting, like, too frustrated. Hope you guys realize that this is literally just for fun. I mean, we do have a little bit of a cash prize, but it's fucking DOA for it, bro. No one truly remembers how to play this shit. It's just for fun, so please don't get too fucking, you know, don't get too serious about it. It's just for fun. Alright, it's one to one. The set is tied right now. I do like the hair I do like the uh the characters change to Christy by Hamo. Because Christy's looking really solid right now. Alright, there's the down back kick when it was actually plus. Look at that. They nerfed the fuck out of Christy's down back kick. Nice guard break, gets the pressure. Yo, Hamo looks pretty pretty confident in this game. I mean he knows what he's doing. And obviously, PC knows what he's doing too because he's a DOA 4 veteran, so. That kick. Tried to hit a button after it didn't work out in his favor. You know what's crazy, guys? You rarely see wake up kicks held in this game. How many wake up kicks have we actually seen held? Like, it's very rare that it happens because there's three wake up kicks. 
Another thing to note is this is back when wake-up kicks used to stun on normal hit. Can you believe that that shit used to be a thing? It used to stun on normal hit. Peachin's holds are on point right now, by the way. Gets the little wake-up kick. There's the back kick lift stun. Peachin's got to do something. He's not- that doesn't combo, does it? Oh, it actually does. What the hell? This man did not just hit him with the old jump and punch in the string. Nice punish by Peachin. Wait, whoa! Whoa, whoa, no! <laughs> what happened? No punish on the, the, the down forward, down forward kick there by Hemo. And Hemo's doing a good job of trying to keep Peachin in check with a lot of the Christie strings. But Peachin really isn't budging too much. Like he's kind of just dealing with it because he knows Christie's weakness in this game was that she just didn't do enough damage. She legitimately did not do enough damage in this game. That was always her problem. Wow, that's going to fucking be crazy if he does. Oh, he actually got out of it. Alright, what's the mix-up? Uh, she can wake-up kick right here, though, so he's got to be careful. That's the thing about DOA 4. You can wake-up kick off of the wall after that slumping animation, so you got to be careful. No punish. He's going to take the back punch out of the back kick. Wait a minute. Ah, he's playing with his, he's playing with his, uh, his food too much. Nice. He catches him with the uh, hard knockdown. Doesn't get a force tag. Here's the quarter circle back throw. Doesn't get to finish it, though. Peach is doing a good job of stopping the pressure, even though Tina's a little slower. Wait a minute. This is going to be a dead character, I think. Yeah, that's it. Big, big fucking damage from Peach and just now. God damn, that hurt. Alright, and I believe that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. That was gonna be the that was uh two two to one. So um Peach is gonna be advancing, and uh Hamo is going to be eliminated from the tournament. But Hamo. You did an amazing job, man. Even though it sucks because you got sent to loser bracket on some bullshit, but you did a really good fucking job, man. So I really do appreciate you coming out and playing. Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and check out the bracket. Here we are. Good job to Hamo for playing. And we are going to be moving on. Oh, I almost fucked that up. So where are we now? Currently, we are sitting at Mr. Kuldu versus Peachin. That is going to be a first to three set. The winner of that is going to go to fight Blackberry first to three. Whoever wins that is going to go face High Guy in the finals. I'm curious to see how this set is going to go. Let's fucking get it. You thought Hamon won a match? Well, I mean, even still, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't understand um, Challenge's bracket setup. Like, I'm actually a little confused. So, Blackberry, this is supposed to be three out of five, right? Am I am I tripping? Or is it supposed to be three out of five here and three out of five there? I think that this is supposed to be first to two, isn't it? This is first to two, I'm tripping. This is first to two, this is three out of five, this is three out of five. Yeah, that's two out of three. All right, uh, there you go. I, I knew something was up. I'm like, wait, that's too many three out of fives. This is two out of three, three out of five, three out of five. All right, here we go. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get them back in here and let's run these last games. It's been an awesome time, man. I definitely want to do more DOA 4 related stuff, especially because I know that we were capable of getting this many fucking people on this game, bro. That's a huge accomplishment. That's a really big accomplishment getting that many fucking people on this old, dusty ass fucking game, bro. Seriously. MCD versus Peachin. Yo, T yo Peachin is playing Time Attack. With Tina. <laughs> Mr. Cool Dude over here training and shit with the soccer ball emoji.
All right, Peach, you can ready up first since you're already over there. Thank you. Is this a run back? I think we've seen this earlier. Alright, let's get it. First to two, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, let me talk to my ninja in the corner real quick. Come here, bro. What's up? Shit. Alright, so we are going to losers round six. Losers semifinals, I believe this is. So this is big. I mean, whoever wins this game is going to go on to fight Blackberry in losers finals. This is huge. Literally, this is fucking huge. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament, and they they won't they won't get a dime. They won't get a motherfucking dime. They're not gonna get a fucking dime, guys. In order to be in the money, you have to win this game. So whoever loses, and we're on the on the Nassau, on the Halo stage, the the good old Halo three days right here. No punish there on that uh, dragon kick there. Or not dragon kick, but the mid kick. Or the dragon kick. Forward punch kick. Gets the knock away into the ward hog. What the hell? All right, Mr. Cool Dude starting off the fucking game pretty convincing there. Yo, Mr. Cool Dude doing his thing right now. Came out to the throwdown DOA 4 edition. I've never seen this man play DOA 4. Just the Halo 2 map? Are you sure? No, you're right. This is more Halo 2 because this soundtrack is from Halo 2. Which is odd because the partnership was with Halo 3. I found that really strange. Get ready and fight. Mm, my god, that's gonna do a pretty good amount of damage. Nice, gets the low wake up kick, stun on normal hit. Caught his back. There's the down back kick by Peach and gonna get that frame advantage. Mr. Kudu's like, get that shit up out of here. Wow, nice lift stun. He's not going to get that combo. Got to watch out for the wake-up kick, and he's going to kill him with that grab. Beautiful round there by Peach in the state in the fight. Mr. Kudu thought he was running away with that shit, though. Yo, what's going on, Cannon World? Nice. Mr. Mr. Cool Dude's in trouble right now. He doesn't go for the low grab on that offensive hold there. What's he gonna do? He's waiting it out because he knows that he gets nothing guaranteed in this game with Jan Lee off a of Dragon Gunner. Yo, Godsaw, what up, man? What the motherfuck was that, Mr. Cool Dude? Oh my god. Did he just counter low? There's no way he just countered that. There's no way he just fucking got that hold. Holy shit. What a fucking hold. Yeah, that makes more sense with the timeline. Because Halo 3 came out in 07, you're right. So that would mean that Halo 3 wasn't even fucking even close to being complete. So I guess it does make more sense that way. That was a fucking clutch asshole. If Mr. Cool didn't hold that shit, it was going to be a wrap. And they're not on the same side anymore, but I don't give a fuck. I'm not switching the names. So you guys know who's who. So obviously, you know, Mr. Cool Dude stuck on Jan Lee because he is um, currently in the winner's, the driver's seat. However, we are going to see a character switch from uh, Tina off of Peach, and so I don't know who he's going to switch. Alright, so we're going to see a Lei Feng chip, and I'm actually pretty sure that this is Peach's main. I'm pretty oh, he punished that with a forward kick? That was God, -like. Yo, look at Mr. Cool Dude snacks in the corner, bro. He got four large fries. He got a fucking Diet Dr. Kelp over there. That's unsafe. Nice punish there by Peach. And that move has a lot of block stun in this game. Gets the force tech. 4-4 four, four kick. Nice way to close out the round by Peach. And looking a little more accustomed to late thing for sure. That's unsafe. No punish by Mr. Cool Dude, though. Gets the back H plus K to stop the side. Well, there was no side step there. My diet doctor kelp. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty positive Mr. Cool Dude has to do a different combo right there, but I just don't remember what combo it is. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, not the offbeat ninja jump. Not the... Oh, no. <laughs> not the fucking Lion King. Bro, the Lion King is getting some dubs right now, bro. Six PK is unsafe in this game. I thought with Jan Lee, right? I could have sworn it was. So I thought that's why nobody used it in this game. Like a lot of people really did use it. I could be wrong, but I, I think it is because no one used that shit. What is that grab he's doing? All right, Mr. Cool Dude is one round away from getting a point on the board here in the set. Yeah, it's unsafe here. Yeah. Nice, caught that back. Give me that back. That's unsafe in this game, I believe, too. Try to jump and kick that man like Tekken. That shit didn't work. No punish from Peach and nice block from Mr. Cool Dude, though. Nice. Wait a minute. He's going to go for the... Oh, oh sh What? Bro, 4-4 four, four kick hit the ground, bro. No fucking way. Yo, Mr. Cool Dude is getting mixed right now. Mr. Cool Dude is getting fucking mixed right now, bro. Mr. Cool Dude's in the fucking blender, bro. This could be it. This could be it for this game. Oh, fuck. Yes, I made it. I actually made it. That ties the score one to one. I want to know what's going to happen. If you guys think Mr. Cool Dude is going to close this out... Put a one in the chat. If you guys think Peaceon's gonna close this out in advance to fight Blackberry in the losers finals, put a two in the chat. One for Mr. Cool Dude, two for Peach. And who do you guys got right now? Who do y'all fucking got? Wow, y'all gonna do my boy like that though? We got a lot of twos in the chat. And realistically, I don't remember who the fuck one was. So whoever won is, you better prove them wrong, cause they they betting against oh, you, man. brother. Let's get it. This is the last game. Whoever loses this shit is out of the tournament. Not get, they're not getting a fucking dime. They're literally walking away with not a motherfucking dime. Yo, he whiffed him? This man's doing strings! He's doing strings! <laughs> oh my god, he's fucking dead. Yo, that, you ever think about that grab? How disrespectful that Jan Lee grab is? He literally just punches your face and just kicks you in the fucking neck, bro. That's such a disrespectful throw. Yo, I see some motherfucking neutral on the screen right now, though. This shit is god -like. Alright, back punch, punch, punch. There's the up forward kick. He ain't gonna get much off it. He's gonna take a little bit of damage. Peach and looking to stay in this right now. Currently one to one. One to one in the rounds as well. Whoever gets the next two rounds is going to be the winner of the game. And the set, and somebody's gonna be eliminated. Who's going home? Well, who's gonna go to the living room? Because they're already home. That's unsafe. No punish. Mr. Cool Dude trying to swing after that shit, too. Beautiful punish by Mr. Cool Dude. He's gonna get his back. No, he isn't. No punishment, man. I, I, I can understand why Pizza's not punishing that. Because I wouldn't be punishing that shit. That shit weird as hell to try to punish after it's been safe this long. Wow. Mr. Cool Dude drops the combo. No low throw on the back kick. Kick from Lei Fang. Mr. Cool Dude. Wow. He teched him. He fucking force teched him. Mr. Cool Dude's one round away from fucking eliminating Pizza from the tournament, bro. He almost got hit by the Lion King and he's fucking dead. G. G. Oh, my God. What a fucking way to close out the set by Mr. Cool Dude. God damn. That was fucked up. Either way, uh, really, really good job, man, by Peachin. Peachin made it really fucking far in the tournament, bro. And we expected that. We knew Peachin was going to make it far. Peachin is a fucking OG DOA4 veteran, so we knew he was going to make it all. It's pretty much the damn near end of the fucking tournament. So uh, good job to Peachin, man. I hope you come out and play in this if we do this again. Mr. Cool Dude versus Blackberry on deck. Let's fucking go. 
Not to mention, we just got another $10 donation by my boy Sneaky Be Like. Let's fucking go. We're up to $66 for the 70 20 10 split. So, shout out to Mr. Cool Dude uh, for winning that game and getting closer. So, actually, Mr. Cool Dude just confirmed his spot into getting at least 10% of those earnings. So, right now, we got Blackbeard versus Mr. Cool Dude, and we're going to see who can get that second place finish. I don't know, man, because Mr. Cool Dude, y'all, I'm going to show y'all Mr. Cool Dude's emoji right now. Mr. Bone, bro, Mr. Bone is just chilling. Like, like I'm telling y'all, Mr. Bone is not to be fucked with, man. Look at this dude. <laughs> this game is so fucking godlike, bro. This motherfucker just picked his head up and threw it. Like, why did they... I mean, I get it. They took away the lobbies because they were too laggy, bro. But seriously, like... That was, this is one of my favorite parts about this fucking game. This is a first to three format. No, his name was actually Mr. Bone, Parse. If you go to the fucking Zack shop, his name is Mr. Bone. This is actually on DOA 2 online on the PC. This uh, taunt right here. And so is this one. Same exact one. So is that one. Alright, let's go ahead and reset the scores. No more... And we got all kind of flags up here except the US ones. Alright, let's get it. Who's on the left? MCD. Alright guys, we are here. At the Throwdown, Dead or Alive 4 edition. I am your fucking commentator slash host slash motherfucking beast, Emery Reigns. We have made it very far into the night. This has been a three-hour fucking adventure. Let's see if Mr. Cool Dude can fucking hold on and eliminate Blackberry from this tournament. And send this man home with only 10% of these earnings. And have bragging rights for beating this man Blackberry in DOA 4. Oh, he picked Christy. He picked Christy. He's really feeling it right now. Nice hole by Mr. Cool Dude. How did that shit send him over there? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, guy. I'm seeing some neutral being played. I'm seeing some fuzzies. I'm seeing all kind of shit. They looking like they've been playing DOA 4 for a minute. There we go. Blackberry punishing the 4 4 kick. That's not gonna be enough to kill, though. Oh my god, and he got caught! Wow, wow, wow. Wow, fucking wow. <laughs> Alright, so guys, remember, we are in the slippery part of the stage now. If th there it is, that's so dangerous. You gotta be careful in the fucking slippery part of the stage, man. You do not want to be in this part if you're Jan Lee at this point, because Chris has got too many fucking fast loads, man. She's gonna stun the shit out of you. Alright, and just like that, Blackberry is going to bring the score up even one-to-one. -one. Drops the combo, not recognizing that that's not how you do the Christy combo in the game, because he's obviously not used to the game. Nice punish, wow. Actually got the forward punch punch punish. Really good shit by uh, Blackberry there. Back punch punch. God damn, look at the damage. Yo, Mr. Cool Dude is connecting that slow-ass fucking dragon backstep kick in this game. Wow. Whoa, what happened? Oh my goodness gracious. This shit, these motherfuckers playing neutral in DOA 4 right now. Uh-huh. Ha cha! Alright, Blackberry getting that slip stun. He's gonna send him over the branch. Let's see what happens when he jumps over. Oh, oh my god, the low counter. Huh? Blah! Fucking 30%, bro. Nice, nice forward grab there by Blackberry. Trying to slow down the momentum a little bit that Mr. Cool Dude has. This could be bad. Gets the grab, though. Oh, man, this could be bad. Mr. Cool Dude going to try to go for some crazy shit right here. He's going to try to do some crazy shit. Yep, there it was. Blackberry Chaos recognizing the whiff and actually got that Ace plus K whiff punish. Doesn't want to go for the punish there because it's too risky. But they're answering back with a punish of his own. Mr. Cool Dude with the whiff. Oh, no. Wow, he delayed the motherfucker out of that string. Nice back throw reset. I know Blackbeard misses that back throw from Christy. They took that shit out of this game. I mean, out of DOA 6 for sure. 
Force Tech can't lay on the ground, and that's probably gonna do. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He can't go back in this game, can he? Nope, didn't exist yet. Oh my god, he smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> Alright, Blackberry going up one to nothing in the set here against Blackberry. I mean, against fucking Mr. Cool Dude. One thing. Oh, I forgot to back out. One thing that's really shocking me right now is the fact that Blackberry went Christy. And I know that Blackberry is a long time. Yo, you changed your avatar? You got Mr. PP? I'm not, I just don't remember Blackberry using Christy much in this game. I always m remember him more of a Helena slash Kasumi player, and I know he used a little bit of um, little bit of Jan Lee maybe back then. But seeing him use Christy is actually surprising. I don't know if he actually labbed her up and figured out how to use her in this game, but definitely interesting to see him using Christy in this game. Mr. PP is that his name? No, this is uh, this is losers finals. So first to three. After this, we're going to grand finals where my boy, the high guy, is looking to fucking shut these dudes out because he's he got that old school flash. You know what I mean? All right, let's get it here. Losers finals, the throwdown, one to nothing in Blackbeard's favor. Let's see if Mr. Uh, cool Dude can bring this shit back. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Nice, nice up, uh, up kick lost there by Blackberry. Trying to go for the force tech. Mr. Cool Dude is just getting smacked. Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't evade in this game, and that's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Gets the neutral throw. No break from Blackberry. I mean, that's a really hard situation to break, anyways. He's going to go for the punish there, of course. Nice. Gets the throw. Wow, kicks him in his motherfucking dome with the dragon kick. Gets the backstep dragon kick there again. Another motherfucking dragon kick. Oh my god, he's kicking him with every fucking thing. Jesus. Nice. Man, that did fucking 40%. Nice, goes for the throw there. Really risky grab there by Mr. Kudu. Tries to go for the backstep kick there again. Again, that Jin Lee backstep dragon kick there is super slow in this game. So you really got to time that shit correctly. Yeah, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Oh, no, he did the wrong combo. No, no, not like this. He's dead. Beautiful fucking save throw by Blackberry. That shit happened fast as a bitch. <laughs> Nice four punch kick. That four punch kick is getting a lot of mileage. Oh, that man was just holding. Nice grab there by Mr. Cool Dude for the punishment. Gets the wake up kick. I don't think so. I don't think that that move uh, Blackberry did was actually neutral or plus in this game. I know it's one of them DOA 6, but I don't think it was in this game. I think it was actually unsafe or negative or some shit. Alright, no punishment on the four punch punch. Goes for the punch grab. Blackberry going ham right now. Oh, wow. He still got those. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Not another one. He's gonna he's gonna do it again. Wow. Wow. Wait a minute. No punish on the up forward kick by Blackberry. Beautiful high counter hold. Wait, one more mix up. One more fucking mix up, and that's gonna do it, and that's it. Wow, he got Mr. Cool Dude shook. He's got him shook, guys. I didn't back out again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, he's got Mr. Cool Dude shook. 100% he's got Mr. Cool Dude shook. One more game, and Blackberry is going to advance to the finals to face my boy Luke. Just chilling and waiting. Is Mr. Cool Dude going to switch his character? I highly doubt it. The reason why I doubt it is because I don't think Mr. Cool Dude has enough time on this game to really feel comfortable enough to go with another character. Now, I know he plays with Hayate in 6 and Bass and a couple of other characters. Hayate is actually very straightforward in this game, but if you don't know the tech, I would not advise you to pick Hayate. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see that pick. I think we're going to see him sticking to Jan Lee for the remainder of the set, which is pretty much this This is it. No matter what, he's stuck on his character um, for the rest of the set. Gets the neutral throw. No break by Blackberry. We haven't seen one break on that throw. Here's the three people lifts up. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, he didn't get all that in this game. It actually lost lower. Nice offensive hold, and that's going to be a kill, man. All right, Blackberry, two rounds away from advancing the grand finals here in a DOA forward throwdown. Beautiful grab. He needs to back up and get away because you can't keep pressure right there. You can't. You got too many wake-up kicks in his stomach normally. You got to back up. 
Nice, gets the forward punch punch. No punish, man. That up back kick is super fast. Down forward kick. Oh man, this could be bad. God damn, bro. Look at the damage. He is one round away from fucking going to fight. Uh, get lucky in the finals, man. God damn, look at Mr. Pudu getting flinged around the fucking stage. 60% combo. Nice. No, that wasn't going to connect. Wait, down kick. He's still in this. Can Mr. Kudu make something happen? Blackberry's falling apart. He's falling apart. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. And that's it. Just like that. Blackberry's showing that low-tier Christy love, man. And he is going to advance to the grand finals to go up against my boy. Get lucky. We are here. We are freaking here. This is where we are. We are here, guys. It took us It took us a pretty long journey. Really, really good. A really good event so far. I'm definitely happy to see this finals. My fucking neck hurts from commentating this whole time. Um, so this is it, man. Let's go ahead and get my boy uh, Luke in here. So again, I want to go ahead and throw out the information for these players in case you guys are just now tuning in. Blackberry, old school DOA player. Been around for a long time. He actually competed in DOA 4 in its later stages back in 2009. Um, Luke, a.k.a. Uh, the high guy is actually a DOA 4 veteran. Placed top three at the only time Dead or Alive 4 was at uh, EVO. The only time that it was a main game at EVO back in 2006, he was top three at EVO for DOA. So he, uh, he, he he's a vet, man. He's been around for a long time. And to see him in grand finals just goes to show you that this man knows what the fuck he's doing, even after all this time. So we're going to see if he can close this out. One thing I want to remind you guys is that this is going to have to be a reset situation for Black Bear. If High Guy gets three games, he wins. If Blackberry doesn't get three games or resets the bracket, High Guy is going to run, run away with this. So Blackberry has his work cut out for him, man. And I do want to remind you that this is a run back. High Guy beat Blackberry earlier in the bracket. So we're going to see what happens, man. If you guys think High Guy is going to sweep this man and beat him without letting him reset, type one in the chat. If you think that High Guy is going to lose, type two in the chat. If you think Blackberry is going to take this. Let's get it, though. They jumping right into this shit. No, no, time, no time wasted. I respect it. All right, we got Blackberry on the left side. So we've seen Blackberry use Christy. Who else have we seen? We've seen him use Christy, and we've seen him use um, um, Kasumi mostly. So we really haven't seen him use any other characters, I think. Yeah, I don't have the prediction set up. I have to get them set up for the next time we do the throwdown. I completely forgot. I was, guys, I was scrambling to get this shit done today. I literally had two hours to get this whole event planned out. So just bear with me for the mistakes we had. This time we're off the high five. All right, here we go. We're going to the club stage. What a beautiful way to start this set off. Nice make it cold there by the high guy. Doesn't block the low sweep there, but he gets up with the quick force tech. Nice, gets the... Wow, wow. Oh, no, high guy did not want that. I know what he was trying to do, but Blackberry actually hangs on there because of the, the uh, button input there by high guy. Wow, down forward kick. Wait, that was a low counter. It didn't even look like it. Blackberry is trying to... Oh, nice. Nice way to close it out. I love the way Blackberry is playing Kasumi. He's playing a really, really poke-heavy Kasumi right now, which is what you really have to do in DOA 4. Oh, my God. The reaction on the offensive floor was godlike. Wait. High guy is getting stunned. Oh, that wasn't the combo in this game. I think you had to do... Um, I don't remember the combo, actually, for that one. Nice. Try to go for the force deck. No, he backs up, plays it safe. Wow, what a fucking hold. Oh, man, that was a button in, uh, input error for sure by high guy. All right, Blackberry looking good already to start off, man. Gonna get the sweep into the 50-50. Nice down for this was K into the wall damage, 20%. Back kick, he's gonna go ahead and keep playing with the stun there. Ooh, I forgot about that string. Holy shit, that's a string. <laughs> Unsafe, but not from that range. You can't punish that from that range. He's at tip. And that's going to be a dead character. He's not going to drop this. Oh, wow. And I speak of the fucking devil. Whoa, wait. Wait, wait. 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 Oh, oh shit. Wow. What? Wait, wait. Oh, my God. No fucking way that just happened. 
Oh my goodness. Alright, Blackberry is pissed off right now. Yeah, that doesn't work in this game. Nice high counter hit. Oh my god, did you see the motherfucking damage on that motherfucking hold? That's unsafe. Nice punish. Yo, Blitzkrieg, what up, brother? Shout out to another old school DOA 4 player in the chat, Blitzkrieg, man. What up, bro? One of my first DOA friends right there from back in 2008. 2007, actually. Wait, one more mix up could do it. Wait! Oh my god, he got stunned by the fucking high wake up kick, bro. He literally got stunned by the high wake up kick. Jesus Christ. That's not looking good, but wait a minute. Blackberry's answer back with a high count. Oh, big damage. Big, big, big damage. He's not going to get hit by the wake up kick again. Beautiful spacing by high guy, though. Blackberry's kind of just running into stuff. We haven't seen one of those strings blocked yet. Wait, this could be it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, beautiful hold. Yep, beautiful hold. Beautiful hold. Fuck, no. Fuck, I fucking tried. I tried, guys. You saw me try. Give me that at least. You saw me try. You saw me try. Cut me a break. You saw me try. I'm going to be on top of that shit now. I'm not letting that shit happen again. I'm not letting it happen again. I'm good. I got this. I got this. I got this. I'm not letting it happen again. I'm on my, my cat-like reflex shit. All right. I'll catch you later, JC. Chris, have a good night. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Thank you, man. Hope you uh, come back to DOA at some point in the future if Iron returns. So, another thing I want to point out here. Blackberry has his work cut out for him even still. He took one game off a of high guy. He's got to take two more, plus three more the next set if he resets. So high guy is really fucking chilling right now. This man, he's got a lot to, you know, he's got a lot of room right now, a lot of wiggle room. So we don't really have to see him sweat at this point. Get ready, fight. Nice, gets the four punch kick, starts the pressure. Oh, nice quick loss there by Blackberry. He's gonna go for the hard knockdown. Goes for the pressure. High guy, yes, he's going for that setup. This is a guaranteed four stack. Oh my god, I forgot, I love it, I love it, I fucking love it. That force tech is disgusting. I love it, it's disgusting. Wait, he crushed him! Wow. Bro, Zach had some dirt in this fucking game. Nice, gets the hard knockdown. He tries to go for the tech, but he misses it by a couple of frames there. And that's gonna do it. No, he should've did punch, punch, kick, kick. High guy's pretty much gonna lose this round, I think. He's gonna get hit. He's gonna get tough any second now. Blackberry literally has a full life bar. If he makes his comeback, nah, there it is. Jab, nine frame jab, why not to close it out? Easy wins. All right, four punch, 11 frame mid. Nice. Tries to go for the force tech, but it doesn't hit. All right, whiffs that down forward kick. High guy finally getting his offense started. There it is. Wow, what a fucking high counter hole by Blackberry Chaos. Oh my god, what a fucking offensive hold. What a fucking offensive hold that was. Blackberry's making this shit happen right now. Okay. High guy's got his work cut out for him, it looks like, man. It looks like he's the other way around at this point. Like, Blackberry looks like he's in the driver's seat. And I don't think we're going to see a character switch out of high guy, so... But as I say that, he just slams this man's head against the fucking floor a thousand times. Nice clutch hold by Blackberry. Ah, uh, that only works on lightweights. I know what he was trying to do. That was the combo, too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One more hit. Could wait, if he gets this, he wins. Yes, he wins. Wait, wait. No, he didn't. Oh, no. Oh, and he catches him. Duck. No, let me out. Let me out. Yes, let's fucking go, baby. I made it. All right. Blackberry won round one game away yeah he did the wrong ender right there one game away from resetting this bracket against high guy in the grand finals of the doa4 throwdown do you guys think that blackberry is going to reset this shit or not do you guys think i think we're going to see a reset but i also think that we might see high guy play a lot better in this the next go around so we're going to see we're going to see what happens is this still snowing no but actually stop i gotta get out of here get ready All right, does he know the combo? So in this area, Kasumi actually gets a guaranteed roof combo in the corner, I believe. I don't know about it if it's just out in the open. And that's that's quick. Blackberry makes quick work of my uh, of my boy uh, High Guy right now, I man. I don't know. I don't know, man. High Guy is just he's just getting hit. He's just getting fucking hit, man. He's just getting hit, guys. Wait, wait, wait. 
Nice. He's trying to fight back. Blackberry, nice four punch kick to close it out. Wow, nice interruption by High Guy. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, I love Zach combos in this game. It's so sick. Alright, there's a sweet frame advantage. Blackberry staying composed, though. Even though he's down in the life, he's still fighting back here, trying to play the defensive side. Nice. Gets the forward kick. Kasumi's... Oh, whoa, what a motherfucking conversion. Yo, okay. So we chilling behind the blinds right now. It's all good, though, because we can still see a little bit. Wow, what a down forward. Ace plus K. Damn, he just slammed that man on his neck. That fucking grab is abusive. All right, gets the lift stun. Nice safe throw by Blackberry. That's yep, there it is. That's what you got to do right away. You got to go right for that combo. That's unsafe. Nice punish by High Guy. Wow, tries to go for the grab. Blackberry said, get the fuck up out of here. I'm about to reset this bracket, son. Wow, and Blackberry's still... I'm really surprised to see Blackberry still opting to go for the low hold. I mean, for the low hold right there. No, let me out. Fuck. Alright, so we are going to see a bracket reset at this point. Let me out. Let me out. You fucking be smashed. Yo, give me a second, Blackberry. Damn. At least let me... At least give me a second. At least give me a second. Like, don't skip the replay right, right away, damn it. Give me a second to, to com compose myself. Alright. We have a reset. We are currently in the reset bracket or the reset grand final so blackberry reset the bracket here against my boy high guy however that doesn't mean that high guy is out of this we've seen people reset brackets all the time and the person who got reset on comes back and sweeps them 3-0 so you never know what's gonna happen all right let's get it we are going to the kyoto yo blitzkrieg thanks for the sub brother thanks for the five months man i appreciate it yeah, man, we have a long history on this game, bro. Back when I was fucking 12 years old and shit. Yup, there it is. High guy recognizing that Blackberry has been low countering out of the forward punch punch, not holding it at all. He's just opting to go for the string the entire time now. Alright, no whiff punish there by Blackberry. I understand because he didn't want to run into that little fucking mid kick there, so. Oh, nice forward kick. Gets the low kick ender there. Alright, no whiff punish there again. It's super hard to whiff punish a lot of these moves. Nice. And High Guy is catching on to the fact that Blackberry has been low countering out of pretty much everything so far. Which again, DOA 4, it's not like you can really call it a bad thing. Most people low countered out of shit in DOA 4. It's, it's very common, so. Yes, sir. We got 66 bucks out of the 100, man. Definitely a big accomplishment for sure. Nice way to close it out there by Blackberry with the down forward kick kick. We're on Xbox 360, bro. We all got back on our 360 to play this shit. Nice. Recognizing the unsafe string there by the high guy. Kurosoko back throw gets the 10 by 50% uh, damage on the throw there. Even if it was on normal, that's a lot of damage. Wow, what a low counter. And you know what's crazy? about Zack, he was one of those characters that had low hold animations that looked like fucking highs. Like legitimately, his low hold animation looked like a mid punch animation. It was so weird. All right, Blackberry playing really strong with the Christie right now. All right, four punch gets the stun. High guy up out of here with these low holes, though. He's like, get the fuck up out of here. This is DOA 4, bro. All right, that's going to do it. He's going to close the round now. He's going to get the full combo. Blackberry one round away from taking this motherfucking set over, bringing it one to nothing in the set. And, man, High guy is holding a lot right now. And Blackberry recognizing he's going to get the beautiful 40% combo into the tech. There it is. Into the 3P. High guy in trouble. Oh, man. Nice hold to stay alive. But is it going to be enough? I don't think it's going to be enough to bring him back, guys. I, I think that's it. Oh, and again, 
Oh, whoa, whoa! No fucking way. No way he just did that. Bro. What? Bro, he was in stun for three fucking days. Bro, Blackberry was literally in stun for three fucking days, bro. Bro, I've never seen somebody in stun that long. He got hit a thousand times in stun and didn't fall, bro. I thought he'd never fucking fall, bro. God damn. Bro, he legitimately was in stun for his whole fucking dead or alive career just now. He hit him seven about ten times in stun, bro. Jesus. Oh my god. One thing I do want to say, guys, is that if you look at the way they're playing this game, the way the low countering was in this game, and because it didn't cost, it didn't take as long to recover from holds, you see Blacker and High Guy going for a lot of save throws, but it's not really working out because save throw wasn't really super strong in this game because of the fact that holds recovered a lot quicker. So you could get stunned and immediately hold and damn near almost recover in time to stop the person from coming from their fucking string. You know what I mean? So save throw wasn't really super, super strong in this game. All right, Blackberry going with the tech. Nice. And, that, oh, man, that's not the combo. I'm surprised he's not just doing the forward kick kick right there. I know that's what you have to do. All right, but High Guy still going up in the set one to nothing. Even though the names are swapped, guys, you know it's, you know who's who. So you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh, Blackberry drops the combo. High Guy recognizing the unsafe string. Tries to go for the 4-4 four, four, punch punch. See, again, the safe throwing. It just doesn't work that well in this game. It just doesn't work that one in this game. The holds recover too fast. Nice. And this could be enough to get a pretty good amount of damage. It's, oh, no. It's not going to kill. And, man, Black... Ba oh, wow. He's not going to die because you can't die from falls in this game. High guy got one more shot to bring this back. What's it going to be? Oh, man. Nice way to inset out there by Blackberry, man. This is a crazy fucking set. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, nice. About 25% there on that. 20%. Nice, uh, recognizing the low hole there. High guy is on some shit right now. But it's still, we still got one to one in the, in the rounds here, so it's definitely not over for Blackberry. Black, speaking of the devil, Blackberry is in this man's ass right now. That's it. One thing about Kasumi's Force Tech game in this game, her forward kick did so much damage when it hits you in a Force Tech. That second kick does like fucking five percent. It's insane. Though. Nice, Blackberry catching on to the stun patterns of High guy. Nice, Blackberry goes with the big throw. He's gonna get big damage off this too. Nice, 20% into the wall splat. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, Force Tech, what's the mix? Oh my God, he was on the slope and it didn't give it to him. This could be bad. Oh no, Blackberry, pain, fucking pain, bro. Oh my God, and he's still, no, let me out, let me out. Thank God. So what just happened just now? High guy was going for a force tech situation, but because of the fact that there was a slight slope there, it didn't give it to him. So it actually saved Blackberry's life. Blackberry's still hanging in there. Man, this set is really fucking close. One to one after the bracket reset by Blackberry. And again, I, I don't suspect High Guy to be switching his characters. He's been gone for too long out of the game, and I just don't think that he has that comfortability with any other character. But even still, it still remember seems like he fucking remembers how to play Zach like the back of his hand. Get ready. Yes, um, Kasumi's, if you're talking about 6kk, the cartwheels, they are me. Oh, shoutouts to L Dance for gifting $10 to the pot. That puts it up to $76 to be split amongst the top three, man. Thank you so much to L Dance. And uh, L Dance is actually a DOA 4 player as well. I remember playing that player way back in DOA 4 back in the day. And it's crazy how much love the DOA community has for this game. I know a lot of, like, competitive players shit on this game, but the DOA community really does love this game, man. Like, they really do. Everybody shits on this game. Nice. No hold there by High Guy again on the sweep. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. I gotta give it to Black Bear. Black Bear's doing a really good job. Um, Blackberry's doing a really good job of maximizing those Kasumi combos. He's getting them almost every single time. Yeah. 
Meerkat, I don't think he's played Pokero yet, no. Yeah, Blackberry is getting something off that combo almost every single time. Nice. There it is. That's what High Guy's looking for, that forward kick. Yep, that's what a mother. That's the first wake up kick we've seen held. And he just took the chance and ran up. Blackberry is like, nah, bro, we about to close this shit up out. I'm tired of fucking with you. Nice. Down eight plus down four eight plus K by Blackberry. And what High Guy is doing with that 3P plus K, he's actually mixing Blackberry up by going into the low crouching stance and not. Wow. Wow. Whoa, let me out. Let me out. And Blackberry is one fucking game away from winning the first, probably the last Dead or Alive 4 tournament that we're ever going to see that's this stacked. We had over 20 entrants for a Dead or Alive 4 tournament. That's fucking insane. Like, some, we can't even get that for a DOA 6 fucking tournament. You know what I mean? So, I mean, this might be the last Dead or Alive 4 tournament, guys, that we ever see with 20-plus entrants in it. So, let's see if Blackberry can go out with bragging rights here, man, for all fucking eternity. But let's see. It's High Guy is not out of this, man. He can definitely bring this back. He can definitely bring this back. And just like that, he's going to send Blackberry tumbling off a motherfucking cliff. Nice. Gets the sweep into the frame advantage. Yo, I love it. I fucking love it. Wow. Yo, Blackberry is getting a lot of mileage off of these big throws. Like, a lot. So, like, that was such a sick setup that Zack used to have. Because Zack used to be able to do forward kick twice. And, and then he would go uh, for his down punch. It would either one hit force tech or it would give him plus frames. And it was, like, plus, like, a lot. It was definitely, like, plus, like, three or more, I think. Wow, what a fucking fuzzy from High Guy. Damn. Oh, uh, Blackberry still don't have those combos. So, actually, that's actually sick because Blackberry waited for the recovery of that hold and actually got it. Nice throw to the High Guy. What's he gonna do? Wait, wait. Oh, my God. Let's fucking go. My boy High Guy is turning the fuck up right now. He said, nah, bro. We still in this shit. Wow, nice 3-3-K by Blackberry to get the launcher. That's actually crazy because they gave that launcher to Phase 4 in DOA 6. Nice offensive hold. Something we really haven't seen too much in the last couple of sets from these players is really offensive holds. Nice way to close it out. Blackberry two rounds away from winning the Dead or Alive 4 throwdown. Let's see what happens. Nice punch, punch, down kick by Blackberry to react. And he's not playing with this man. He's kicking his fucking kneecaps out. Oh, forward punch, 11 frame mid. Wait a minute. Nice down for the K by Blackberry. Could he close this out? Blackberry Chaos is one round away from winning the Dead or Alive 4 throwdown. Let's see if he can pull it out. Down jab. Not looking good. He's already starting off to a bad start with that fucking low counter. Nice. Gets the punch grab. Knew he was going to fuzzy guard. Oh, God. And he still got something off that somehow. I don't know how. Nice hold. High guy still in this shit. Wait a minute. It's wait. Wait. If he gets, oh my god, the kid, how is he still getting that shit? Oh, that's it. What, no, wait, what, what? Punish, punish. Oh my god, he's, <laughs> no fucking way, bro. No fucking way. Let me out of here, bro. Let me out. I don't want no fucking smoke. Let me out, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no fucking smoke, bro. I'm picking Bay, man. I'm picking Bay, man. I don't want none of the smoke, bro. I don't want none of it. I don't want none of what y'all fucking got going on right now. I'm out of here. I don't want nothing to do with this shit. The fuck are we here? You guys see fucking uh, Bayman's diaper helmet he had on? Alright guys, this is it. We are one game away from seeing the final Dead or Alive 4 throwdown. We got the two most veteran players who entered this tournament right now. 
in the grand finals. And we kind of expected it. Like, honestly, we kind of knew it was going to be High Guy. And we kind of knew it was going to be fucking Blackberry. This is it. This is fucking it. This is it. This is all she wrote. So we're going to see, guys. We're going to see who's going to be victorious. Who's walking away with most of this $76 right now for a DOA 4 tournament in 2021. Let's fucking get it. 2-2, two to two, DOA 4 throwdown, grand finals, let's go. And we on a Kyoto on Bloom. Not looking good for Blackbeard from the start. Uh-oh, high guy on some shit, guys. Nice mid post hold to stop the pressure by Blackbeard. He had to do something because he was getting his ass kicked. Okay. Uh-uh-uh, uh-uh. He's not going to risk for the uh, force type because he knows he cannot afford to get hit right now. Unsafe, but no punish. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He got caught hitting a button. Two more rounds. And High Guy is going to be the Dead or Alive 4 champion. Oh, man. And that why does that connect? And that's the force tech. Oh, my God. It's so dirty. Blackberry Chaos is in trouble. High Guy is fucking feeling himself like it's 2006 Evo all over again. Blackberry looking lost. But wait, he answers back. And he's going to get fucked on this combo, I think. Oh, oh. That, oh, that was cute. Okay. All right. Tech. Oh, he misses it. Wait, wait. Oh, he tried to do some bullshit. He tried to do some bullshit. Okay, down back punch into the jab. I like it. Gets the sweep. Blackberry getting the frame advantage. Wait a minute. No punish. High guy looking a little shook. Blackberry going with the pressure. That's unsafe. Nice. Gets the quarter circle back throw. Definitely risky, but he's knowing Blackberry is not going to hit a button right there because he's been getting hit by everything. Nice. Blackberry getting a lot of miles off of that big throw. He's just missing the timing. He can't afford to do that. And he knows that High Guy's blocking a lot right now. Oh, man. Blackberry looking to close this shit out. He is one round away from switching the momentum back around. High Guy's getting hit. He's getting hit. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. What a fucking hold. Oh, God. Oh, God. No punish. Wait. What the fuck was the taunt from? Wait, no, oh, there's the punish. Wait. Oh, that's not good. That's not fucking good. Bro, it's, it's fucking, it's, it's one more round. One more fucking round. Who is going to take this shit? This is crazy. What a fucking high counter low hold. What the fuck was that? No punish to this out of range. You can't grab that shit right there. Blackberry like, nah, bro, I ain't losing this. This is the final DOA 4 tournament. High guy hitting buttons. Oh, wait. There's the stun. High guy's in trouble. And Blackberry is fucking stunning this man. He's getting stunned. And that's fucking it. What a fucking tournament, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh, what a fucking tournament, man. What a fucking tournament. And shout outs to Go Carlo for donating the final $10 for the stream. What a fucking. Yeah, that was good shit, man. That was awesome, dude. I love that shit, man. Congratulations to Blackberry for winning the Dead or Alive 4. Uh, the Dead or Alive 4 throwdown, man. That was fucking. That was so much fun. I've had more. I had more fun fucking streaming this shit than I have streaming anything in the past. God knows how long, so. Oh, we got more donations coming. If you guys want to donate to the pot, you guys have about one minute to do so while I go and customize my avatar before I get off of DOA 4 probably forever. But, um, man, this, this, this stream really just shows how much the DOA community loves DOA. Not just DOA 4, man, but um, just DOA in general. Oh, yeah, by the way, I wasn't bullshitting, guys. This fucking chicken is actually called PP. And there's Mr. Bone. I wasn't joking. I remember the fucking names of these avatars like yesterday. Mr. fucking Bone. This whack ass shit. Ew. Yeah, man. What a fucking night. What a night. You guys were amazing. You guys were amazing with the donations. You guys were amazing with the entries. And we just got our final, final $14 donation. Wait a minute, we're up to 110, $110 for the pot. You guys came through. You guys helped us reach that fucking goal. Love the DOA community, man. You guys are fucking always awesome, making sure that the DOA community 
uh, gets its worth, man, you know? So, um, you know, it's definitely great for you guys to to come out and play. You guys, like, you, these, I want you guys to know that some of these players bought DOA 4, they bought an Xbox 360, and they bought Xbox Gold to come back and play in this tournament for you guys. So definitely, definitely shout out to you guys. I Me, mean, you guys are the fucking shit. Um, I don't know if... We um if we're gonna be doing this again, I'd love to do another DOA four tournament again. Definitely not anytime soon, probably. But you know maybe like next year we'll do this again. I think the next tournament we're gonna be doing is probably going to be the um Dead or Alive Throwdown for Dead or Alive two Ultimate possibly. But for now we'll worry about that later down the line. For now, in two weeks, we are going to have a throwdown for Dead or Alive 6, a first to 10. So if you guys want to be in the first to 10, hit me up on DMs on Twitter and stuff like that. Or I might have something where I do like a vote. I'm thinking about probably doing Hoodless versus Rakuto or something like that. Black Bear versus Rakuto. Something along those lines just because, you know, we want to get some of those high, uh, high caliber, high level fights in there for DOA 6. Um, but yeah, man. Shout outs to all you guys for donating. Shout outs for all you guys for tuning in, man. It's been a fucking blast streaming this shit for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you guys follow the stream if you have not done so. Be sure to uh, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube as well. And I will check you guys out. Make sure you guys also follow me on social media at Emory Reigns on pretty much every platform. I'm out of here. It's been a fucking blast. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting the DOA community. I will see you guys around, man. It's been a fucking blast. You guys have a great night.